Yo, do y'all know who Andrew Tate is? I've heard, I've heard of this guy. <laughs> hey, do you guys have any idea? <laughs> have you, have you heard of this individual? Andrew Tate? Do yes, you guys know yes, who he yes. is? Has he come up on your feed at all? You know what, now that you mention it. He has? Quite a bit. So what does that say about us? We hate him. <laughs> Shit or what, bro? Like, I, I, my feed is nonstop, is yo. Inundated. I, no, I, I'm, I, we're all laughing because I was joking around before about how this has never happened before in internet history. Yes. I, I literally so, believe sincerely, yeah. and I mean this, and you I, thought hey, that I was being hyperbolic. I don't. I'm not. I don't. Never before has this happened in history. A guy that lives in Romania and does what he does there, which is own casinos, apparently. Has slaves? <laughs> that's a crazy thing. I don't know what crazy people thing. Have slaves. You can't just say people have slaves. That's the slaves? allegation. Female sex slaves? <laughs> that makes it better. I don't I know like, oh, what it is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know the rules of Romania. My point is, he is showing up on my feed non fucking stop. stop. Dude. I'm not clicking on it. It's just next video is him in that accent, which I don't know what the fuck country yeah, that I'll is. I'll be trying to figure that shit out too. God damn it, bro. It's a nonstop, yo. Yeah, so Cap, you click about every <laughs> single video. Well, after so. a while, <laughs> man, like, what crazy shit this guy gonna say to a woman's face right now? This is kind of impressive. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, it is, has this ever happened before? Has, has one person, <laughs> has Can one person. One? Can yeah, I name go, one? Go, go, go. Joe Rogan, maybe. Maybe Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan has the biggest podcast. Yeah, I know. On that's the my planet. guess. He still shows up on the feed less. Yeah. And the entire media is attacking him on a daily basis. Nobody's done what Andrew Tate has done. <laughs> Honestly, I'll be honest. He's not being crazy though. I'm not, has Who it else been has done, done this? Done Name before. a person. Name Y'all be a laughing person. at boldness just to laugh at boldness. <laughs> but we can't be a little bold on this podcast. Make some proclamations. Every, everybody has done this. Who? Uh, Kim K. When she broke the internet. You had TikTok. She's not doing that on a daily <laughs> basis, bro. On a daily basis. No, I, I actually think okay. his point is unknown. Haram. People. Kanye. <laughs> He was uh, doing no, it no, almost. No. I think his point is unknown people. Unknown. Yeah, Kanye. Yeah, yeah Kim K. Kim K. That's yeah. Okay, okay, Kim okay. K. is a celebrity that has a whole media apparatus dedicated to her being famous. Mm. Well, this guy was a decent know. kickboxer. Pretty good, I guess. I don't know. Pretty Maybe good. really good. I don't know. But we don't fuck with kickboxing like that. He was born here though, and he's British American. Why do we know this? Yeah. Why you does research. he have this accent? <laughs> <laughs> what well, I was trying to say before, and you guys shit on it, but I think that he needs to be Hunter Biden's life coach. And I mean that. And I mean, no, no. And I mean that. You guys think I'm joking about this. I do. I need a justification. This guy, well, I'm going to make one up as we go. But listen, Hunter Biden yeah, hates yeah. his dad. Mm-hmm. Right. Hates his dad. Yes. Who handles people with daddy issues better <laughs> than Andrew <laughs> motherfucking Tate? That's pretty good. Well, I just did in the moment. That's pretty good, yo. I got to give I'm you I'm like, hey, buy the special, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> buy the special. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> well, how do you know he hates his dad? Why do you think he hates his dad? Hunter Biden? Yeah. There's no way you don't. Bro, there's he video he's videotaping himself doing incriminating things. Uh-huh. The only reason you would do that, the only reason is you hope that somebody would find it and then it would <laughs> ruin Son, your dad's life. If legacy. you're a white guy doing crack, you're only doing it to piss your father off. You hate off. your dad. Nah, I don't even you know how you dad. get access to crack as a you white guy. He's, try, he's trying to numb the pain because <laughs> his dad <laughs> is sick. <laughs> <laughs> <That's why. laughs> you're not playing air guitar with your leg? <laughs> not air, though. You're playing your leg. That's leg guitar. <laughs> 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 oh, that's, that's what Hunter Biden's doing right now, dude. Really? He's somewhere in a Motel 6 just strumming away on his thigh as some crack whore weighs the crack. <laughs> it's a lot of crack. My man be doing a lot of crack. It was yo. short. She was short. Yo. Who was short? Shorty was short, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Son. Come on, bro. Fuck. Come you've, on. you've watched all the videos? Of whom? Of, of Hunter Biden? No, no Andrew I'm Tate. Yes. Andrew Tate. Yes. Hunter Biden don't got the media. <laughs> Humber- listen, yeah, yeah. listen. Hunter, Hunter yeah. Biden has literally... Valid point coming. Fox News, News One... All the other truth p- platforms, <laughs> Mark, right, yeah, Mark, yeah, yeah. right, 4chan, all of them mm. are nonstop all day trying to push out information about Hunter Biden. Mm. I don't see close to as many videos as I see of Andrew Tate on a regular motherfucking basis. Am I about to bust out my YouTube shorts right now? <laughs> Am I about <laughs> to test yeah, this sure. right Here's what's crazy. I've been seeing him on TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> wow. Do you know what I'm saying? He's everywhere, yo. He's unstoppable. Instagram. 
Instagram, YouTube shorts. You're wearing your YouTube shorts right now. What are you talking about? You got your YouTube shorts on right now. Yeah, right. You got your YouTube shorts on right now. You got your YouTube shorts on right now. You got your YouTube shorts on right now. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Look, all I'm trying to say is Hunter Biden got the serious daddy issues. He's trying, he's, uh-huh. he resents his father for caring so much about politics and not about the family something. at all. It's something. Okay? Yeah. All right. I think we can all get on board. You're not getting on board, <laughs> son of a bitch, pancakes. What? Pancakes? Yeah. I just need to add something. <laughs> I need to add my, one my more thing. With, with Andrew Tate is how do you know what if you, it's not question? just popping yeah, up on your thing? And how do you know? Because he asked me? all of us and we all agreed. You're just being pussy right it's now. It's coming up a lot, but it's not oh, like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, you be looking at, you ever get in a fight with your girl and then just tate it up for an hour? <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you mean? You don't do that? Cobra tape. You know, just, just, just yeah, a cobra you just tape. get it. You got to get a swipe on some tape. Bro, that's it. Mm. Cool. Oh, no, his profile cobra, is cobra tape. tape. That's his whole thing. I think that cobra was him tape. as a kickboxer. Is his uh, thing was cobra. Uh, yeah. I don't know how I know that, but I know yeah. that. You don't know <laughs> these I know things, that. bro. <laughs> don't know about the man. It's okay. <laughs> no, he's undeniably funny. You can't even act like a guy not funny. Oh, he's funny. Yeah, he's, he's funny. funny, bro. <laughs> Put a girl's body count on her forehead. Solve all the problems <laughs> in the world. <laughs> He said that to a woman. He goes, you can solve all the problems in the world if you put a woman's body count on her forehead. Oh, my God, bro. Come on now, son. <laughs> and now, how does that help anything? I don't know, but Hunter Biden needs that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good Hunter point. Hunter Biden needs that because it's breaking up the nuclear family. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Listen, <laughs> Listen, but what is this? What, what am I playing now? Oh, that's ukulele. Yeah! A oh, ukulele. Nice. Look at us. Oh, look at us. Yeah, oh my gosh, you like him beat you to that, bro. Oh, oh, I don't know what a ukulele is. <laughs> you never heard of a ukulele? You never you said never seen a fat Hawaiian play a uke? You never played the uke? Oh, that's that. I yeah. thought that was the banjo. Um, <laughs> Over the rainbow. I, I did hear you, Kaleli. We put Barack Obama and the other black people. <laughs> they no live on the island. I didn't know you spoke pigeon. What? You spoke. You speak pigeon. Come on, brother. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Come on, brother. Shoot, brother. Of course Bro. I speak the pigeon, brother. brother. How is it? How is it? How is it? Where the fat bitches with no ass at? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where the big Samoan women with no ass? Ass look like a triad. Aye, talk story. No, no, talk story. story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, they gonna yeah. fuck you up. No, I just not gonna let me at Walmart. Remember that girl that did the, the <laughs> she did security at Walmart? A dude was trying to steal. Body <laughs> slams. Yeah. She was a hero. What did she do? She body slammed yeah. the motherfucker trying to steal. Oh, damn. And then Dana White invited her to the fucking UFC press conference. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, for real. Genius yeah. move. Guys, this Sunday is the day. Infamous. We got to break some fucking records, guys. Okay? Spread the word. So many of you have already posted about it. So many of you have already told your friends, told your family. We changed the game this Sunday. It is up to you guys. DeAndrewSchultz.com. Okay? You go order that special right now. We are all watching it Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going live afterwards here. You can get that and fashion merch and everything all available at DeAndrewSchultz.com. Um, also, crazy thing happened. One of the biggest gambling platforms on the planet, Bet Online, and us are partnered, and they're doing something absolutely crazy. Not only are they flying out the 10 people to watch it with us live, they're also going to put a $15 bet in every single person who orders the specials account if they open it up account at BetOnline. That means you go buy the special for $15, you get that $15 bet in your account. It doesn't matter if you already have an account or if you're going to open one. This is the infamous stimulus coming into your motherfucking pockets. And if I'm you, I'm putting that shit on a crazy parlay and trying to win a million fucking dollars. You could actually make money off of this special. That is crazy. And if you do, make sure you tag my ass and I want a piece of it, motherfucker. Okay? I appreciate y'all so much for supporting me in all seriousness. This Sunday, it goes down. We see if we can make a little history. Spread the word. Thank you so much for your support. Peace. Anyway, Hunter Biden got the serious daddy issues. Okay. Crazy daddy issues, mm-hmm. doing the crack, doing the coke, doing hookers and prostitutes, and filming it all, mm-hmm. knowing full well he could destroy his father's legacy and mm-hmm. ruin any chance at being in politics. Maybe he wants his father to get out of f- politics so he can have his life back. Oh. Imagine growing up under that microscope. Mm. You can't do anything. 
Hmm. Or you can do everything and get away with it. You just got to be a little subtle about it. Like, Hunter could be doing all the crack he wants right now. If he didn't fucking tape himself, none of us would ever know. His yeah. whole life, cracked up. None of us would know. That's facts. Best crack. Purest crack. Yeah, <laughs> none of us would know. <laughs> but instead, he's filming himself. He filmed himself, he filmed it out. himself weighing the crack. Who are you even sending that to? Yeah. This what is, is that incriminating for? evidence. It's, uh, I don't get it. And he started on the front phasing, too. You didn't even have to start on the you front phasing. You don't even phasing. got to. You could deny. That's not my voice. Yeah. 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 They're doing voiceover or whatever that thing yeah. is. What is it called? CGI. Not CGI. Deep yeah. fake? Deep fake. Do you see this one? What's this one? Hunter Biden slip sliding naked. There's no way. Oh, uh, this is fantastic. He got a thing on him? He looked like oh, he, he got, got a little, thang. He got a little thing. I'm telling you, his schmied is actually decent. Let me see that schmied. <laughs> Let me see that schmied. Wow. This guy is hilarious. <laughs> the more videos I'm seeing of this guy, I'm like, I kind of want to hang with him. Yeah, he's a fun time. Yeah, dude. dude. He might be the white Andrew Tate. This guy's living his best life. We're all just watching it. Yo. He looks good for a crackhead. Still got his teeth. <laughs> Playing with his little <laughs> thing along. <-a -lang> <laughs> yeah. That thing, my boy. This guy's awesome. Yeah. Oh, he's just playing with, he's stretching out that yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, he getting yeah. it on medium he soft. Get, he getting it he ready. Getting ready. Yeah, yeah, he getting it ready. He getting the cold water. You gotta get yeah. a camera ready, you know? No, 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 I feel that. I respect that 100%. <laughs> he's in the, he might be a patron. Honestly, I want him to submit a Patreon to Questioni. <laughs> Let me see, do we have any videos of him smashing anything? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's one of those. Yeah. Wait, for real? Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. he's beating box? Yeah, he, the camera angle's all fucked up, though. Yeah, that's... He like, so this is an interesting one. This is allegedly a, a woman... And you got these who's, ready, huh? Who's tied up with a bag over her head, doing like some some bondage stuff. He's also putting out a sandwich and maybe a uh, a croissant. He got her in that portnoy right there. He might have a chocolate croissant also. <laughs> okay, and but maybe this is that's like a, good a time. she's she's trying to get over like a carb addiction or something like that. And this is like <laughs> we're gonna put it as close to uh, as possible so that you can like an learn how to thing. control yourself. Mm. Yeah. Or it's a fetish. I think he could be helping this girl. I think there's no proof at all that he's doing some sort of like sadomasochistic ritual. <laughs> I think that that girl had a serious, like uh, she might have body dysmorphia or something like that. Mm. Now this is a little bit more yeah, incriminating. Yeah, let's go. This one is him with... Uh... Two girls that drink Monster. <laughs> 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 but he's just hanging, he's just hanging he out. He looks great. He looks amazing. Uh, this is great. I like this guy. Yo, you know what we got to give a little bit of respect to? What's that? The British royal family. I know this is hard for you. Yeah, it is. You too. And me. Yeah. More me than you. Because my people went through way more. <laughs> uh, oh, also, this is the Schmidt one right here. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. What's that thing next to him? That's a woman. Oh, it's a woman? <laughs> a thing. <laughs> oh, dude, Andrew Tate over here. Chill, bro. <laughs> yeah, haram, dude. But he's just kind of like he's getting just it. He's stroking meat. <laughs> wait, are y'all an overstroker? Wait, what? Well, don't like, don't put him on. Us. Yeah, why, why are we y'all? Why are we y'all? Dion Hunter's not a very white white guy. Let's be honest. Yeah. But he just, <laughs> you know, he's just overhead with it. Why you don't ever hit it with the overhead? Oh, and, I mean, yo, yo, yo Hunter could be a rapper. Dog. Yo, he's fucking and he pulls out the Glock. Bro. Son, it's unbelievable. That's fire, dog. So he's fully naked. He's about to hit it from the back. That do some ASMR with this. Oh yeah. Come on. He's your new king. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Come on, bro. Yo, do we even need Chet Hanks anymore? <laughs> no. How does You're this affect son. his legacy, you think? Real talk. <laughs> you like, think this affects Chet's legacy? If he has a Jamaican accent, I don't even think we ever listen to Chet again, dude. Suck. Chet got his life together. Hey, Chet I, got his Andrew Tate on. I think this is the real white boy summer. This Hunter one Biden right here. started true white boy 100%, summer. bro. Shouts to Hunter Biden. Anyway, Andrew Tate can get your life around if you want. Turn you into a cam boy. Do they have cam boys? Is that know. just Twitch streamers? Yeah, might <laughs> just be Twitch streamers, but that's actually a good business. Mm. Now, can we have Andrew Tate on the podcast? That's the question. I mean, he is funny. He is funny. Well, do we have to see how this uh, sex slavery trial goes? <laughs> that's probably a good idea. I forgot. That... Son, if you're funny enough to make me forget a sex slavery trial, I got to give you credit on humor at least. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, so he's been charged with something. It's yeah. the accusation. Oh, I, I think he gets house got raided or something like that. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know how I know these things. <laughs> I don't know how I know. <laughs> oh, you know wow. I don't know how I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, I, actually, why? I found out from you, to be honest. Well, I told you this? Yes. Huh? But because he had 75 bitches living with him. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. It's 75 bitches. Yeah. <laughs> 75 cam girls. Slots. Doing whatever I want. 
I want a robot. Hey, who gets the money from those cam girls? Like, I get the money. Those girls get like 25%. Okay. Bitch. Wait, wait, why? Why are you only giving them 25%? Well, because a man needs 75% so I could work on my judo. <laughs> <laughs> other things. His okay? actual response to that was, uh, yeah, they're selling my product. I'm not going to let them sell my product without giving me a cut. I was like, damn, Andrew Tate's going in. No, nah, that that's motherfucker's funny, wrong. man. Listen, no, if it's a joke, it's funny. Me the fuck up. If I ain't gonna lie. He cracks me the fuck up. If it's a joke, it's funny. <laughs> if it's serious, it's kind of concerning. If you take him seriously, a little bit is on you. And as long as he don't insult his own race of women, which I don't even know what they are, I'm fine with the guy. I need to know where the fuck he's from. I need to know what that accent is. He's half black. He's half black. Yeah. He's British American, born in the US, grew up in London, something Romania. That's it. And then That's he where he was Romania. doing his his fighting, his wow. kickboxing. He had he had a bar though that was kind of fire. He said, uh, he said, "Bitch." <laughs> That's it. He had a, he had a bar that was kind of fire. He's like he likes Romania because um, it is the corruption is available to everyone. Oh, that's fire. Something like this. I'm that's paraphrasing, fire. but it's like, it's like if you live in the West, the corruption's only available to the billionaires. They can get away with stuff. They can pay the lawyers. They can pay out the government. They can do all those influence. But like in Romania, I can pay off a policeman and he won't give me a ticket. I can pay off this person. I can get things done with bribes. I love that it's corrupt and that corruption is available to everyone. Now, what is everyone? Like yeah. there are people there who don't have the money to actually be corrupt. But mm -hmm. the fact that it's available to more, it's an interesting look on corruption. No, I really do kind of look at him like a stand-up. Like, I don't take this all seriously, but these are interesting points of view, at the very least. That's yeah. an interesting point of view on corruption, it's and it's it makes me laugh. That's what you were saying as running for president. You're like, tax fraud, everyone can do it. Everybody can hey, do tax yeah. fraud. Hey! <laughs> Bitches for everyone. Oh, wait, really? <laughs> yeah, everyone gets a cam girl. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Really? What? Yeah, I think, I think everybody should get a cam girl. Don't you? I have a little cam girl in your house. Wait, in your house? You have to keep them? Yeah, you get a nice little cam girl room. She goes in your house. Yeah. yeah do you need some food, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> She's speaking to you, calling you a bitch? No, I'm He's speaking in her Andrew Tate's food. accent. Nah, you're not taking care of her. She's taking care of you. Dude, Al, Al is Andrew Tate, <laughs> yeah, and it's the yeah, craziest like, fucking... I was just thinking earlier today, every time Al used to bring oh, up... that's right. I was bringing yeah, her food. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> do you need you to bring yourself some food, <laughs> yeah, bitch? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Yeah. Never in history has this happened. Never. <laughs> Never. So this guy is so stupid. No, no, guy, if he runs for president, he winning, bro. Hey, yo. He's winning, bro. Yo. He's winning if he runs for president. He's the most famous Romanian any y'all ever heard of in your life. That's not true. He's Romanian, but yeah. Dracula. He's, He's Transylvanian. Transylvanian. Yeah. Where the fuck you think that is, That's you dumb Romanian. retards? No. No, Transylvania is its own thing. Nope. Mm -hmm. Inside Romania. Nah, no. Yeah, but stupid, operates bro. on its own. <laughs> nah, you stupid, bro. <laughs> Man, no, I guarantee Transylvania is nah, inside it Romania. It's under its own jurisdiction. Castle Dracula, brand castles in Romania. He didn't that's say not, anything yeah, about yeah, that. Hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, he didn't say anything don't about that. Don't, don't, don't assume. Don't assume. Hi. <laughs> Let's accept this as true for this argument. Who been in your news feed more, Andrew Tate or Dracula, you dork? <laughs> Yeah, I haven't seen Dracula Fucking, one time. Dracula's yeah. a mad to be silent. Fair, Dracula I, got nobody on TikTok. Yeah, Dracula got no bitches, bro. Right now, I think the most famous bloodsucker in Romania is definitely <laughs> Andrew Tate. I mean, if I'm being honest with you. If, Thank you! If there's one person that sustains himself safe, himself <laughs> off of the lives of innocent people, yeah. I think it might be Andrew Tate. Yeah. I signed up for his uh, newsletter. Really? Yep. And his course? Oh, he has a and his course. Hustler is you. Or whatever. <laughs> For real, I have. <laughs> Stop fucking. I don't know why they go this up, is, bro. This is why. Like, Andrew Tate, can you help me? Just can give you help up. me with my pants? You please? need Andrew Taylor, bro. Fuck Andrew Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. He's back. He's back. He's back. 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 <laughs> no, nah, for real. Andrew Tate, we need you. Uh, we need you to fix America. We need, um, <laughs> we need you to fix Hunter Biden. What else do we need him to fix? Is there anything else? Um, I think that's basically it. Mm. I think he fixed a lot of the world's problems. Yeah. Islam can use the help. They don't understand what's haram and what's not clearly. Mm -hmm. He's the guy that And Andrew you. Tate got that? He seems to know haram. Is this what haram. it felt like when like Islam was taking over? Like <laughs> fun? The crusades. Like, yeah, like, it, like when a new religion was coming around. Like, is this what it was like? It's like, oh damn, I'm seeing these crosses everywhere. Is that cross <laughs> shit lit? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm I'm trying to understand. Are we going through a yo, cultural yo, revolution yo, of Tatism? Last person to do this like this, Jesus. 
Well, popping Mo, up Mo. in all your feeds. Mo, Muhammad. Popping up. Mohammed. Mohammed was probably yeah, the yeah, last. Yeah. He's the prophet. Andrew Davis the prophet. He might be the wow. newest version Damn, of a religion. Yeah. And a religion of keep your bitch in line. <laughs> But right. it's just your phone. There's probably some people listening to this that have Dude, no idea. Dude, the more I argue with my wife, the more the videos pop up. It's like, <laughs> you know how, like, you know how, like you, you're talking about toasters and all of a sudden you get the ad on oh, Instagram fuck. for a toaster? That's what I have with Andrew Tate. <laughs> like, me and my wife are arguing, and then these Tates pop up, and I'm looking at my wife like, <laughs> You got no idea what's coming. She got no idea. Like, <laughs> it's over for her once I start to tell her body count your head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Have body you, count Have you played head. any of his videos in front of him? To my wife? Yeah, yeah, Do I ever play videos on no volume? <laughs> like, <laughs> when I walk into a room, have I ever played oh, a video yeah. without she full think volume? When she yeah. hears you shitting and listening to that. She cowers in fear. When a real man <laughs> is in town. When that alpha is in town. <laughs> cool, cool. It really feels like a wolf cry. Yeah, that's the wrong know. answer, though. The real answer is who cares what a woman thinks? That's, oh, that's, 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 right. that's, that's what I learned in right. university. You're right. finally Indian, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you finally shed all that British shit. <laughs> that's some real ass yeah. Indian shit. Uh, I'm, fi- I'm getting Muslim finally. I'm converting. Yo, finally. Yes. Also, happy 7 Eleven Day, bro. Oh, hey, thanks, bro. Yo, I got you. I got, I got you. you. Bring back Apu. Uh huh. Yo, is it? Oh, that's right. It's 7 Eleven. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shit. We got to go get a Slurpee. Yeah, I guess we do. Let me fix uh, my fucking expensive watch. <laughs> oh, alpha move right there. <laughs> That's an alpha this shit move. don't work. Look. Uh, <laughs> okay, but in all seriousness, um, I'll probably have to sell this if you guys don't buy the special. So if, if you guys could go buy, not according to TMZ. That, yo, TMZ. Not according to TMZ. Bro. Come on, yo. These motherfuckers is cap. All, all the. That's something I learned this week about articles. They don't be re- reaching out for comment. Mm. They write at the bottom, reached out for comment. I'm not hearing from none of these motherfuckers. Yeah, what does that mean? They just said it out loud? The, yeah. Yo, yeah. Andrew, what you think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Open the window. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, do you have a comment? Nothing. And then they fucking run that article. Mm. They'll they call an fuck. agency's receptionist. Hey, does Andrew? I'm like, what? Okay, we did yeah. it. Yeah, and we know my agency does nothing for me useless. <laughs> They're useless. So, of course, they're not going to hit me back with this. Except you, TJ. You're the fucking man. Get out of the woods. T- TJ be in the, been in the Shire since the motherfucking tour yeah, stopped. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Where, where's the Shire? I don't know. But every time I go on Instagram, that motherfucker in the woods listening to Andrew Tate jerking dicks. <laughs> You know what I mean? Oh, I didn't know that. Yo, y'all never go out on a nice little camping trip with some tape. Mm. <laughs> y'all never went on a camping trip with some tape. It's no, getting no, no, all no. weird now, bro. I'm just saying, it's you like... go on a camp, and then you see how animals interact with one another. You're like, that's the shit. Yeah. That's yeah. fucking primal life, uh-huh. bro. Mother nature. Let's Mother go. nature. Father yeah. nature, hey, really. Hey, yeah. hey, does the male lion go out and hunt? Who hunts? I think the female lion. Yeah. The bitches. Okay. <laughs> The lion bitches oh. go out and get the food. Yeah. And then I come eat the food. <laughs> <laughs> My bitches get for me. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what happens to a lion bitch if she fucks too many people? What? what? They discard of her body. Whoa. Is that a real thing? No. I think so. <laughs> Didn't think I was going to get much pushback on that. <laughs> I wasn't properly prepared. I'm pretty sure male lions got to fight to fuck the female. Is that right? I mean, most animals, yeah. Thank God we don't got to still do that <laughs> shit, man. Thank God, bro. Bro, you got to so, narrate. Andrew Tate's got to narrate an actual, like, a full National Geographic oh, yes. documentary. Oh, bro. I think this is, I think he's about to. <laughs> really? Oh, wow. Oh, uh, ain't a- <laughs> What's that thing hanging out of his dick? Did you see that? Yeah, fucking I know, he's packing, bro. Dick, run that back. He might have just been peeing, I think. Oh, it was a little piss stream? Yeah. Um, the hyena by himself. Wow, dude. Oh, zebras don't give a fuck, bro. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. That's a crazy kind of horse. Zebra a little thick, though. Yeah. Uh, zebra a little thick. Yeah, they got crazy but dumb shit. Have you thought it? it? Was it all curious to you guys that nobody has a pet zebra or nobody rides that? Yeah, that's a good point, actually. There's a reason. Wait, why? Can't domesticate them. Wait, why not? Can't domesticate a zebra. Why? Why? Well, I mean, you can domesticate them. What you animal? Domesticate. You're acting like that's the only animal you can't <laughs> domesticate. No, there's other animals you can't domesticate. Can't domesticate a white shark or a thresher shark <laughs> or a whale shark. Okay. Really? I feel like you can domesticate a whale what about, shark. What about an elk? Can't domesticate them. Yeah. So I feel like there's a lot of you animals. You can domesticate reindeer, but you can't domesticate reindeer mad little. a zebra. 
Say again. Nah, reindeer, reindeer mad little. Reindeer are big. Nah, nah, nah. They're nah. big. They're big. Nah. nah, they're little. I saw a little ass one in I New York. I pet them motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. bro, same. Yeah, probably a baby one. That might have been a baby. <laughs> they, they grow pretty Do you know the difference big. between babies and full grown things? <laughs> no. And Ro- Romans didn't know that either. <laughs> listen, listen, this is serious, and I need you guys to take it serious. Uh huh. Zebras are undomesticatable. You can't do it. You can't do it. I think but you, you, you say that like it's it. unique. That's a lot of animals. A but lion. It looks just like a very domesticatable. You hop on the back of a horse, and it's your bitch. But then this horse. Yeah. Okay. You cannot do it. That's not shocking. And, and a mule. You can do that with a donkey. Say those, those are domesticatable. Donkey. Yeah, of course. I don't even think they're. Out there, a bull. Like, <laughs> oh, they're not even wild. They don't yeah, even exist I don't think out they're there. They're wild. Like yeah. I think they only come domesticated. What's really? a don? Is a donkey a, a horse and then a mule cross? Yeah, that's a good a ass point, bro. Or a mule know. is a horse and another animal. A One mule is maybe a horse and a donkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna take a break for a second because I gotta help you out with your skin. Okay, fellas, here's the reality: we don't give a fuck about our skin. And why? Because we think it's an intimidating thing to do. We think it's too much work. We look at our wives, look at our girlfriends. They're taking up 14 shelves with all these different lotions, their nighttime routine. They got all these masks and everything all over their face. We don't know what the fuck's going on. We're like, I don't need to be part of that. Well, that's not the case. Geology has made it simple. They have figured out your daily routine. Now, I know what you're thinking. They're going, well, how do they know my skin? Well, you take a test so they figure out what your skin is, and then you have your geology creams curated for your skin. Think about that. 30 All second test for the record, 30 second test. Oh yeah, test. it's 30 seconds. It's a 30 second test, it's nothing, and then you have your exact cream set up for you to work for you so you can look good. It's not that difficult. In the night, in the morning, they got some under eye cream if you're trying to look real cute. They've simplified the whole process because they know that we like it simple. And ladies, if you're listening right now and you want to get your man on something so he stops looking absolutely repulsive, Geology is the one. And here's the reality. Geology is offering you an exclusive 70% off. But you don't just get their award-winning best-selling eye cream. You get a whole five-piece custom skincare routine. That's a $50 value for 15 bucks. Think about that. The eye cream alone retails for 45 So this is a hell of a deal. Go to geology.com, G-E-O-L-O-G-I-E.com to get a quick 30-second diagnostic quiz to get your personalized skincare number and use the promo code FLAGRANT to get your personalized trial set for 70% off. Let's get back to the show. I need to tell you about the best underwear in the business. Plain and simple. It's culprits. I don't even know if you can get down here and see. I got them on. Okay, that's all you need to know. Your boy loves the culprits. I've literally put these underwear on and I haven't worn another uh, pair of underwear, uh, another brand of underwear since. They are the best underwear in the game, plain and simple. I defy you to find a better pair of underwear. Honestly, I'm telling you this right now. The fact that we even offer a discount is crazy because they're gonna be the best underwear you ever put on in your life. Why should that even need to be discounted? But this is what we do, we take care of you. And if you go to culpritunderwear.com right now, use the code flagrant, you're gonna get 25% off, which is ludicrous. Now, if some of you are are dorks and you care about the environment or what fabric, micromodal, all this other nonsense, yeah, it's got all that. Literally, it's the best thing for the environment. It's the best thing for micromodal, whatever that means. I didn't even bother listening to it because I could care less when it comes to underwear. All I care about is, it does it make my package feel comfortable and look amazing? Yes, it does. Culpritunderwear.com, okay? Code is flagrant. Get the 25% off and enjoy your fucking life. Let's get back to the show. So why, yeah. why is your boy Elon trying to duck out of this Twitter thing? First of all, John, I call this. Yeah, I think we all said this, right? <laughs> wow. You just took your whole shit. We, yeah. This is, did I not put the stamp down on Twitter <laughs> and now everybody's taking my joke? Wait, what, what was the stamp? Before he pulled out, I said, uh, Twitter's about to be the only deal that, uh, no, I said, Twitter's about to be the only thing Musk pulls out of because he mm. just had the uh, twins with the whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now everybody's taking my shit, bro. <laughs> oh, the joke, not like, like not the story, the prediction. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Dude, like, what's going on for me, bro? Like, what do you want right now? No, no. Uh, yeah, the joke. Just the joke. But I, I didn't actually think that he was about to pull out. I, th- I thought that he would go through with it. Yeah. 
but now for I the guess most part, out. I thought this wasn't real from the beginning. There was what a moment. You, what when, about for not the most? Like what about? What, what <laughs> there about was a moment. Part? There was a moment where I thought. <laughs> yeah, what did you? Part. Yeah, what, yeah. Tell us about the small part. When like, they, what that was when they actually you. agreed to forty-four billion, I was like, oh, am I wrong? But I'm not wrong. Actually, I have more faith in myself. And then what happened yeah. emotionally after that for you? What was that like? <laughs> wow. Um. So he just he just got into therapy. So he's, 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 he's just. <laughs> I go back to third grade, my boy. <laughs> I'm an OG of this therapy. Therapy just started working, so he's finally. Yeah. But what was that like emotionally? for like what was that like and how does that relate to like your relationship with your parents yes <laughs> you know what yo all therapy is is yo your parents fucked you up <laughs> yeah. that's all therapy is it was yeah. not your fault yeah uh-huh. okay so how does that relate to that oof you know what I'm not used to ever being wrong because my mom always tells me I'm right so Whoa. it was very devastating I didn't, I didn't mean it but I pulled it out I mean <laughs> I got there is that true yeah. Well, my mom truism? thinks I'm perfect for sure. Yeah, but she's I'm telling me she's as cat. Like, Wait, really? Oh, yeah, thank yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of pressure. What did she yeah. say? That's a lot of pressure. Say she said he's not. I perfect. wish my mom treated me the way Andrew's mom treats him. <laughs> 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 so like, you feel pressure to be perfect because your mom. Yeah, bro. She thinks I'm perfect all the time. Wow. I'll tell her if I told her I smoke weed this Rogan episode, she'd be like, "Yeah, but it wasn't like real." And I'd be like, has she seen you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Damn, man. You mean I'm not attractive? Because I think, I think a lot of you could get fucked, I think. <laughs> Wait a minute. God damn, Al. That was like a really insulting no, sentence. Perfect for I didn't care for you to expand on it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. But say no, what but you... even though you didn't become a doctor or engineer, she still thinks you're perfect. Don't matter. Really? Don't what if she matter. saw oh, you weighing you crack? What if she saw you weighing crack <laughs> on the internet? <laughs> she, would, she, would, she would be honest. <laughs> she would be like, who are you doing that for? <laughs> what if she saw you naked going down a slide? What would she say then? She'd be like, damn, dude, I thought you'd had a bigger dick than that. <laughs> <laughs> Calls you dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if she saw it like that, you, think like, you would think with my breasts, you know, you just think. <laughs> Yo, you didn't suck enough milk out them thighs, I think bro. not, dude. When do you stop sucking? What age? I don't know, to be honest. Really? 18, probably. Months? <laughs> 18 months. Oh, no, no. I was making a little, little wisecrack. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> a little wisecrack My there. bad. I was a late sucker. My mom told me. Really? I don't blame you, dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, no, you gotta do. Real. Wait, for real? How late? How late? I was like six. <laughs> I was like, but you had teeth, dog. Say again. You have full teeth. Oh, I'd let her know. If there was none left, I'd take a nibble. <laughs> Slap the back like Franzia. Hell yeah! Like, like, hey, do what you empty. gotta do, ma. I, I believe don't know how this you get too. more milk in. I believe this. Too. But for real, I, I would tell her, I'm like, mom, you better do some push-ups or something. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You better work chest this week because because this tap is dry. You know what I mean, Mom? Yeah. My mom watches this shit. What's up, Mom? Yo, she got to be a guest. We got to get her on. Say again? We got to get no, her we on. No, we are going to get her on. I told you great. this. No. No. We got it. I got it locked in. I have the date, and I have absolutely everything. It's going to go. What date? I can't say. <laughs> secret. Yeah, it's a secret. Yeah. Mm. Okay. It is a secret. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Sure. What yeah, you, that's it. What do you want to talk wait. about? Huh? What are you going to interview What do you guys about? want to talk about, you sick fucks? You want to talk about a 70 woman... <laughs> <laughs> tits? Is that what you guys want like you treated my mom at our wedding. <laughs> what did I do? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> you hit her with was, a heavy one I didn't time. say it. That was knee-jerk reaction. I can't do anything. <laughs> if I see them, it ha- comes out of me. It's not like I want same to. It's like a burp. Same, it's dog. a burp. You yeah. can say it around my mom. Knee jerk, okay. bro. Say what? <laughs> knee jerk. <laughs> what do you mean? It's a knee jerk, you know? It's just a different type of jerk. That's all it is. Oh, <laughs> I'm bored. Yeah, nah. Sex I'm, jokes? I'm, I'm giving them that. That's not yeah. sex jokes, man. Yeah. Sex jokes? They, felt, they feel less disrespectful than yours. Yeah. Why? Because I get a chance to say it to your mom. You know what I mean? That's, Why would I just, that make mine more disrespectful? It's the same amount of disrespect. Then the more you disrespectful you are, the more justifiable it is when I see your mom and I go, eh. <laughs> so that's cool. You can do the whole thing. It's fine. It's 100% you okay. You don't look fine. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, do this again. <laughs> hey, I had a dream about your mom last night. Yo. 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 It wasn't bad. Yo. It wasn't bad. Yo. It wasn't bad. On 7-Eleven, don't do this. Dude, Juneteenth for Indians, be cool, bro. No, dude. You still got it, girl. (laughs) No, listen. Yo. Listen. Listen. Yes, guys. Listen, listen. You said the pinky ring. What's going on, bro? What's happening? (laughs) Okay. Um, No, but it wasn't wasn't a bad dream. It wasn't anything sexual or anything. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just happened to have a dream. Okay. (laughs) It was her. It was... was, uh, Mm -hmm. Fucking, it's like a like a. All right, scooter. Charlie Murphy, get it out. Okay. It was a scooter. 
Charlie Murphy? Yeah, it was it was me, it was Eddie. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, it was like a, it was a crazy thing. Wow. A scooter? It's trying to just give him a second. It was, it was a scooter, dude. It was a scooter. <laughs> okay. Like a Vespa? No. Oh. Like a more like a like razor? A razor. Yeah, like a, a razor. Like a razor scooter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's it. I was just doing tricks on a ramp. <laughs> what do you think that means? How does that affect your relationship with your parents, do you think? <sighs> I think my parents let me go to rollerblading camp once and I got a concussion there and I wish that maybe they didn't allow me to do that. Yeah, it's their fault you got a concussion. Yeah, they didn't uh, care about my safety enough. No. Really? It's kind of wild to let your kid do extreme sports as a, like a youngin, don't you think? That's when you're most resilient. You hit your head, you bounce back. Yeah. Do you bounce back? I don't know yeah. that you do. I think it might be like permanent I think damage. you're the most susceptible when you're young, actually. Yeah. But then it also could make you into a great comic, you know? Hit your head a few times as a kid. Rogan literally thinks that I'm, like, impulsive because <laughs> I've had concussions. Yeah. That makes sense. Like, I told him, yeah, I had three concussions. He's like, oh, yeah, that's probably why you're, like, uh... Damn, you know, Rogan like, therapied you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Rogan hit you with, damn, Rogan hit you with this probably because of your childhood. Fuck, bro. Childhood is crazy, man. Maybe we should take... You know how, like, like Elon's doing this thing where he's like, I don't need to take care of my kids until they're adults, and then I'll play more of a role. Right? That's mm-hmm. crazy. Mm-hmm. That's Maybe we should thing. only take care of the kids for those first six years. And then pass it off. And then you just, do, like, at what point, if they get diddled, <laughs> does it not make them trans? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm not saying Buy that. special. Gay, gay, that was gay, a joke. Gay, 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 gay. <laughs> oh, thank God you cleaned it up. Gay, gay. Thank God you cleaned oh, it up. At oh, what yeah. point does it not turn them into the alphabet if they get touched? Because, like, if I get touched now, I'm not going to be an alphabet. You so, don't know. Debatable. You don't know. It that. also depends who touches you. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? I bet you can get touched into being an alphabet. Yeah. You know how fucking good you gotta be <laughs> to turn an adult? Who's yeah. better at giving blowjobs probably than dudes? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like a good blowjob is not gonna make you go, oh, I want all men. It's just it's like I want Ralph one more time, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Pussy mouth. Yeah. yeah. Pussy, Ra- Ralph got that pussy fire, mouth, bro. Ralph, bro. You don't know Ralph. Pussy mouth Ralph, bro. Go, go. Pussy mouth Ralph. Pussy mouth Ralph. Yeah. You're not just running it up with every dude, but Ralph, you're like, all right. Also, guys, Big Daisy Energy Tour is still going strong. We got a lot of momentum. So that the last, I don't know how many weekends, let's keep that shit going. This weekend in Minneapolis, Acme Comedy Club, it's supposed to be one of the best comedy clubs in the city. I know it's a summer Minneapolis, but stop acting like you got a lot of shit to do. Come to the shows. Let's have some fucking laughs. Let's hang out after this weekend, Thursday through Sunday, July 14th through 16th. Also, San Diego. I'm telling you, these shows will sell out. July 28th through 30th, American Comedy Company, one of my favorite clubs in the city. I promise you, these shows will sell out, so you need to buy tickets because some of them are already getting close. August 5th and 6th, I'm going to be in Atlantic City, New Jersey. I'm coming back to the city that gave us all COVID. Let's do it one more time. And I'm telling you what, one of these days, I think I'm going to bring the Are You Garbage Boys and I'm going to honor the other half of my bet. Pay $5,000. Put it on black. One spin. Let's see what the fuck happens. August 11th through 13th, I'm also hitting Tempe uh, at the Tempe Improv. September 9th and 10th, Orlando, Florida. Mark will probably be there because his fucking anti-vax ass lives there. Uh, so, all those dates and more at AkashSing.com. Now, let's get back to the show. Let's do on-air therapy. I think that's what we're missing. That would be fun. That'd be awesome, right? Yeah. All right, I'll start it. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. You ready to come? My therapist, I already have a therapist, by the way. Okay. His first name's Andrew. Okay, I got you. Ready? Here we go. Tate. Fuck! <laughs> hey, girl. Fuck. Uh, that was scoreboard right there. That was really good. Yeah. Did I say on the pod yet that somebody thought I was him on the street? I told no. you guys that, right? I, t- I told you guys this. No? no. On the call. Oh, this on the this call, is an algorithm in real life, bro. No, I mean, not, not that they thought that I was him. Somebody came up to me. And they're with their girl. And they're like, oh, shit, that's my favorite comedian. And they're like, what's up, Andrew Tate? And I'm like, what? <laughs> I go, different Sorry. Andrew, bro. And he goes, I mean, Schultz. Oh, oh, fuck my bad. I'm like, this is, this guy is the greatest guy in ever. <laughs> I was like, at that moment, I realized that he was the most influential human in the history of the He's, internet. Maybe the most influential Andrew. Fuck wow. you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> fuck you. Wow. You're cool. I didn't do anything. No, he might be the most uh, influential Andrew. Honestly, and it fucking breaks me to say it. It breaks me like one of his bitches. <laughs> he didn't say it, dude. It really does. It really does. Do we need him on? I think we oh, might have we, to. We have to. I mean, he's on. so funny. He, he it's is just funny. a stand up coming on. You just have some laughs. Yeah. Should we have him like teach Shifty how to get, uh, oh no. That's not valuable. <laughs> Is there anybody single here? Miles. Should we? T- should oh, we- yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> oh, uh, co life coaching with Miles That'd would be, be the best. But Miles already has so many bitches. Oh, yeah, but are they broken? Yeah, that's right. You have girls that like are like interesting thoughts and ideas. Yeah, and, like, yeah. yeah. Dude, We're that's not here for that. Dove. No, Dove does not need Andrew. No, yeah, no, he no, does. no, 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 he no, doesn't. Yeah, he no, does. no, no, he does. no, because no, no, no. He does it. He wants like a woman that he like respects and will walk all over him. Oh. I mean, they do that already. Are you simping? None though? of them walk over me. You're gonna simp when you have a Jewish wife, mm -mm. bro. It's not even. Mm -mm. He simps. Now. I'm not even. No, he doesn't simp now. No, no. he doesn't simp now. He doesn't simp now. He doesn't simp now. Thank you. You don't simp See. now. But with your Jewish wife, you will 100% simp, and she will absolutely obliterate you. But that's okay though. It, it depends exactly. It's it cultural. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I am absolutely okay to come back to the home. You, you think there's, she I bet runs you there's a, shit? There's a I would female love Andrew Tate out there, shit. bro. Say yeah. There's a probably a female Andrew Tate. Is she shot fucking Tory Lanez? <laughs> what? I don't think she shot anybody. Yes, she did. No, she does Is a simping lie. though? If, the, if she's running shit, no. Will she get home? Yes. If, if you even have to ask what simping is, you're a fucking simp, bro. Yeah. The crazy thing is most women probably don't know Andrew Tate exists. That's not true. They're, they're probably not getting the updates all uh, on their Instagram and stuff and on their YouTube shorts. Oh, you think that their algorithm is different? Yeah, they probably have a female Andrew Tate telling them dating tricks. Oh, God. And how to, how to handle oh. their dicks. Oh, Ugh. God. Like the, the dick-sucking uh, chicks. What Maybe. is it called? Women. <laughs> that was, hey, yo, that was fucking sexist. Alex. Alex Tate. That was really fucking sexist. <laughs> no, the fucking uh, call her daddy. Oh, okay. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in a way, that could be female injury in the early days. Yeah. Like, OG caller dad. What did, didn't they change the name to that podcast? Wasn't it like, How to Be Lonely When You're 40? Is that the... What, British. What is you have to do it British, though. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is if it? If you do it British, then you're Dude, fine. Dude, any girl that pays attention to that podcast will be single at 40, 100%. <laughs> but they pivoted. God, they pivoted. Dude, early days. It was like, it's crazy? Nah, yes. they pivoted. Just go now. gobble up all the dicks in the city, <laughs> and you don't think... Dude, we're putting the numbers on your forehead. You don't realize what's happening. <laughs> the numbers are going on the forehead. Really? You're not going to be able to hide it anymore. It's like a tattoo? It's, it's not a tattoo, obviously, because it has to change. But it will be a visor that they wear, and they will have like a number that will go across it. Why don't you have to have a number on your forehead? Because I'm not a bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Mark, that's why this uh, fucking guy. I don't get it. Makes more sense. You don't no. get it, dude. Okay, can we be serious? There's a lot of stuff happening in the world right now. Okay? All right, this, ask this, me this, something. Why are Sri Lankans swimming in the pool? <laughs> I thought all... they was drinking it. Did you see them? <laughs> didn't it look <laughs> for real? Why Sri Lanka is going for a dip? I like, thought they were finally showered. They stormed the presidential building, right? Yeah, they stormed yeah. the Capitol. Hey, yeah. fight that good fight, Sri Lanka. Yeah, I fucks with Sri Lankans. Yeah, me too. Yeah, okay. but yeah. This is the scene right now. They're they're inside the Sri Lankan president's house. They're swimming in the pool. They're in his bed, Yo, hanging out. Good for them. And fuck the president. Oh gosh, you understand what's happening over there? Because I have no idea. I read a little bit. Let's we'll see how much I actually remember. Uh, <laughs> oh, this could be Well, you don't remember? Just fill in the gaps. Okay? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Government's yeah. been corrupt for a while. The prime minister that they also ousted, he only stepped in like six months ago. Mm -hmm. But there's been a lot of corruption, a lot of mismanagement of money for like a long time. And people just had enough. And they said, we're storming this motherfucker's house. We're swimming in his pool. We're hanging out in his bed. Good for them. Yo, do, you got to do something. That was a cool protest. Yeah. Protest ends in a pool party? That's awesome. Yeah. Yo, that's, yeah. that's all in good fun. And they got the guy to resign. But you January 6th motherfuckers couldn't get done. Facts, though. Mm. Yeah, how does Sri Lanka's body all the January 6th people? That's crazy. Not, they won, bro. They were not even hanging close. out. They weren't stealing nothing. They weren't hurting nobody. It's just, hey, let me take a little dip in a pool. Yeah. And right. if a country's broke and they're living like this, people are going to get fed up at some point. They apparently have like a couple million in their national reserve. And they got, a, what, 22 million people? In the, that's not enough. You need billions. Could we buy Sri Lanka, you think? Like if we were to pool all of our money you, together. You made this real white, dog. You what? can't just go buy in <laughs> humans. We can, we can bail them out. So we can give them a loan. Okay. okay. And then we would then become de facto presidents of Sri Lanka. Oh, like do one of the economic hitman things. Yeah, 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 exactly that. I think we could save the country. I'm down to save the country. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. Great. I think this is good. I think that we should do it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. They need six billion apparently just to get through the next six months. You got that money for that? I'm good on that. Not a real charity though. Don't send me no bullshit. No, I think there's other things that we gotta save before Sri Lanka. Why does the India come through and help them out? India no. has actually. Y'all are neighbors. Out. Yeah, and they actually have helped. But they said like we can't just rely on India. They need the IMF to actually step up. And the IMF is like, y'all been so corrupt. We need to actually make sure you're gonna use this money correctly. If we give it to you. Mm. Or at least one economist who I think worked for the IMF or something. Again, gaps. But that's what I've understand. Mm. My understanding was like China basically gave him a bunch of like uh, 
loans that they built like docks or whatever with. Yeah, they just, Belt and Road Initiative. Yeah, and they basically defaulted on the loans. Mm. And uh, I don't know, maybe that had to do with COVID or maybe it had to do with like- Apparently COVID hurt tourism a lot, which is a big source of sense. income. So then that, that also was another thing. Yeah, so now they come as to collect that bread. Mm. But yeah, I don't know, man. They just got to invest in crypto. I don't know why they didn't do that. They didn't like, see that's it, the Are you still in? Are you still like yeah, yeah. buying in? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm waiting for it to go lower. Cause I bought in already. <laughs> what's what's funny? <laughs> My mom says I'm never wrong. Al, what's funny? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're yeah, not he's wrong. never wrong. You're not dude. wrong. It is going lower. Yeah. I, as it goes lower, every time it goes lower, I put more in to a new low. And what happens when it hits zero? <laughs> and I'm fucked. <laughs> yeah, okay. So until so you want it to go low until hit a zero. dollar. Yo, hit a dollar. I'm gonna go fucking bananas. Yeah, but then you can buy all the. Yeah. I'm gonna be out here like one of them fucking Winkle bosses. Yeah, you can buy all the Bitcoin then. Yeah. If it hits zero, it's done, right? Some coin hit zero and then came back. So I guess theoretically, no, but I, we'd all probably kill ourselves if it hit zero. So what are you gonna do? You know? I mean, zero is crazy. It'd be. It'd be zero it'd, means there's not a single person on the planet that wants it. Yeah. Yeah. And there's no, there's no place you can storm. Like, there's no place to go. You know what I mean? Like, there's yeah. not like, there's not a president's house. There's not a guy that- My wife's going to storm a couple of <laughs> divorce attorney's offices. I'll tell you that. Has she been giving you any shit seeing like the value go down? No, I've actually said we should keep buying. And she's like, all right, that's crazy. We just can't only do that. We got to diversify, which is completely ras rational. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah. That's smart. But yeah. When okay. she found out how much, she was like, what? And I was like, yeah, what are you going to do? <laughs> Wait, what? She found out how much money I had in crypto. She uh -huh. was like, what? And I was like, yeah, hey, we out here. Let's see what happens. Yeah. The trick is you just got to lie. Just be like, I invested a thousand bucks a few years ago and look what we got now. She's like, what? Uh, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, that's it. So it's just yeah, it's been a much better a, a relative yeah. perspective. Yeah, it's been you know? a much better way to do it. Yeah. All right. What else we got? Okay. We want to talk DM etiquette. Doja Cat DMs <sighs> this kid, Will from uh, Stranger Things, saying, yo, set me up with your boy the punk kid from Stranger Things. Yeah. He posts it on the internet mm. and posts the whole screenshot. She's like, he's like, wow, this is so funny. Doja Cat is trying to smash dude. Yeah. She gets pissed off and is like, yo, this kid's a snake. Leaked my DMs. <laughs> Cause she got a man probably. Oh. So she was doing foul shit. That's what I assume. Oh, I thought it's because she caught a lot of heat that she's dating white boys. That's... On black, uh, on black Twitter, that's what that I That could be it. Yeah. Uh. Either way, this is embarrassing. Why are you friends that's with it. a 17-year-old? <laughs> that's the embarrassing <laughs> thing to me. Going through a 17-year-old to get the older dude. One. I mean, yeah, just DM. Also, like, call your agent. Your agent is going to be able to connect you to yeah. him. Like, you wanted to DM the Stranger Things kid. You wanted to talk to the Stranger Things kid. Like, you're watching the show. It's nothing wrong with that. That's fine. But why didn't she just DM herself? Why should be what a mad saying. pussy? She said that yeah. dude doesn't have Instagram or something like that. I think that's but then, his but then thing. he did. She, yeah, she just couldn't she, find it. She goes, "Can you tell Joseph to hit me up?" No way. Does he have a girlfriend? LOL, slide in his DMs. Son. I don't know his IG or Twitter. He doesn't have a DM to slide in Why are you him. having a conversation with a guy who calls you ma'am? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this is a 17-year-old kid. Hold on, he said ma'am to yeah, him? Look, right, right, right here, here ma'am. Get out of here, And bro. she mad at him? This is embarrassing for you. It might be the ma'am, yo. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. kept the ma'am in the post? That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. But also, it's corny of him. Why'd you, why'd you leak that? He's 17. You don't know no better. You should never leak DMs, never yeah. leak private shit. I don't care if it's nudes or a private conversation. Yes. You don't know what somebody's more embarrassed sure. about. We put all this value on nudes, but some people might be way more comfortable with their nudes being out there than a private conversation. Sure. So, yeah, you, this he should go to jail. He should be shot in his <laughs> fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happens to Mia Khalifa sure. should happen to him, 100%. What what about he's 17. Khalifa? It's different rules. Put he's him a in minor. Juvie. Put him in juvie. Okay, social have him media out there juvie. Fighting, slipping on semen. Yeah, <laughs> slipping on semen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, have him out there fighting, slipping on semen, bro. Yeah. Okay, all right. Like, that's some real shit. Yeah. You don't know what Rikers is like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you never they, done time, Akash. You you do some time. You out there, dude yeah. wants to fight you. You yeah. in the showers, semen everywhere, <laughs> slipping on it. That's something you never experience. Yeah. That's what they don't tell you. You fall on semen, now you're sitting in semen. Now you're bro. sitting in semen. Semen seeping up your butt cheeks and butthole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now you're pregnant. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now your kid's gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Think about that. Yeah. Oh, that's Think how they yeah, make. That's yeah. how it happens. You've never bro. done time, bro. Shit. Yes, never bro. Done time. If you did time, you would know. 
Okay. Yes. Fucking What'd A. you do? What'd you Say do? Again? What'd you do? I snuffed somebody. That got you in Rikers? No, when I was in Rikers. Oh, okay. I snuffed somebody. Yeah. He slipped. Licked the floor clean. What? <laughs> <laughs> Did that? Yo, it is what it is, bro. I said to myself, I was like, I ain't slipping on no semen, bro. This guy wanted to fight with me. He's like, he's like, yo, we might slip on semen. I'm like, I ain't slipping on no semen. He just went, slurped it up. <laughs> what do you do? Went, yup, had crazy. all the grip. Uh, had all the grip. Did you Snuffed win the fight him. at least? Say what? Did you win the fight? I mean, I was cramping because I was so full. <laughs> you can't exercise after you eat so quickly, bro. Oh, he's jiggly yeah. puff over here. You, can't exercise. you eat that much calories, you can't exercise right there. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I probably ate about a good two billion kids. <laughs> Jeez. I was eating two billion. And those billion. are tough kids, too. Those are criminals' kids. Yeah, dude. Facts, bro. Yeah. Motherfuckers was going crazy. Gang fights in my tummy. Different sets, bro. Just throwing up different sets, bro. That's crazy. It's crazy. Did you get impregnated? Say again. Did you get impregnated? I told you yeah. I got pregnant. Yeah, so did I you got get scooped, bro. Oh. I got an abortion. <laughs> yeah. I got an abortion, bro. Really? Yeah, I got an abortion, dude. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm so pro females' choice. <laughs> and man's choice. Say what? And male's choice to get an abortion. Pro pregnant person's choice. I was pro pregnant person's choice. Yeah. Yo, abortion is nothing to joke around about. Yeah. Al. This, yeah. Serious, Al. For real, dude. Okay. Yeah. I gave myself it. How you do that? Say again. How you do that? How did I give myself an abortion? Yeah. What's I mean, the there's only one way you can do it. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? Wire hanger? No, no dude. That's, that's gross. Fucking crazy, dude. Jeez, Obviously it's disgusting. not. Disgusting. No, what I, I was playing basketball and I just hit a shot and my boy jumped and I jumped to do that like uh yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, like high five thing. Yeah. Oh wow. That seems pretty easy to be honest Again? with you. It seems very easy. Which has anyone ever done that You've in sports? You've never lost a child. Has anyone ever done that in sports <laughs> in real life before? <laughs> Say what? Like the chest bump in sports? Like I've never seen that happen in real life ever. Like you're playing basketball with your boy and you make a shot and you like chest bump in the air. Mark, you watch soccer, bro. Yeah. You don't watch real sports. That's my point. If you watch a real sport, Has you would see that Has it ever happened in often. basketball ever? Yes, yeah, bro. Know. All the time. A, a chess bump where your nose is touched? No. That shit is sus. Your nose got That's touch. the weirdest because celebration that's the only way you can make it less weird. Yeah. That's yeah. the weirdest celebration weird. of sports. You go and you put your titties on some other dude and you bump, jump in the air. I don't believe in it. And I've also never seen it. It never happens in football. never happens in basketball. It doesn't happen in soccer. No, it doesn't happen to soccer. That's not how they celebrate. They slide on their knees like men. <laughs> you want semen? Yeah. No. The ground's full of semen, no, bro. Is that what they did? They're like about to suck dick. They're so excited. Yeah. They run, they slide on their knees, and they just hope that there's They'll a They'll slide dick on their there. belly sometimes. Just pulling Andrew Schultz in a Rikers prison. Yeah, no, exactly. I was never on my belly, bro. How you lick? Say what? Hands and knees? Hand. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I did handstand, and then I went down, dude. Okay, I have a, I I have a hypothetical for you, all right? Okay, give me your hypothetical. You're pregnant. Okay. You're driving in Texas. Yeah. yeah. You get pulled over in the HOV lane. I yeah. love this one. This bro. is yo yo. This bitch this is one. amazing. The cop says, "Hey, you're supposed to have other people in the HOV lane. Why are you driving with just one person?" Mm -hmm. She goes, "Uh, -uh I'm pregnant." Mm -hmm. I'm pregnant from now on in the HOV lane, and you can't say shit because you don't know what gender I am. Oh shit. Mm. I, th I think in those states they know what gender you are. You That's know what a good I mean? Point. But I'm saying in the states. In the states that want to make abortion illegal, mm -hmm. you should be able to drive with a baby in your belly in 100%. the HOV lane. 100%. You decide when life starts. There's more than one life in there. Change the fucking rule if you don't like it, bro. Absolutely. Mm. Yes or no? Yo. Mm -hmm. New tax dependence. As soon as you're pregnant, that's a tax dependent. That's my child. He's alive. Done. What, what else can you do? Fucking... When does child support start? Yo. Oh, that's a good question. Where when does child support start? Like when the kid's born, right? That's how it is now. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why, why, why on the earth would it start when the kid is born if yeah. life, life begins? Death. That's a good point. At what, contraception. What about it? <laughs> <That's not> <laughs> <laughs> good point. What if you want to get a discount at a movie? What about that? Or like uh, at Denny's or something? You want to get the kid's menu? You should be allowed to do that if you're pregnant. Yes! The kid is eating that food, is it not? Mm-hmm. Kid's going to see the movie in a roundabout way or at least hear it. O M. G, yeah. they should have to pay for two. Yeah. If you're pregnant, <laughs> yeah. you should have to pay for you and the kid that's in that movie. Required. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you're going to see the Minions movie, double it up. That's Actually, deal. you don't have to if they sit in your lap, and technically, the baby yeah. is in the belly, so yeah. it's on your lap, you don't have and to And there's usually it. an age under which they're free, like usually under three. Kids under three eat free. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So you're going to be all right. Nice. What about airplane? What about it? Pregnant ladies on the airplane. No, because one if they seat. can sit in your lap, Same. it's just one yeah. seat. Mm. Yeah, like most of the rules are figured out. Yeah, 
It's just this other one right now. Should they charge fat people for two seats on an airplane? Yes. I think they should charge fat people for m- more than that. I'm, I'm be, listening. Why would it be more than two seats? There's like a, there's a view thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sometimes a smell thing. You know, yeah, right. I've, yeah. yeah, I've experienced. Oh, wow. But if it does, does it go to the person that they're sitting next to? Like, a, like a voucher or something? Yo, if you're willing to sit next to that person, you get a voucher. Like a Wolfgang Puck Express or something? Yo. Like they hook it up? Yeah, because she'll steal that shit, this fat <laughs> bitch. You need <laughs> I thought free it was a dude. You made it, a, you made it a woman. I respect I mean, bitch, can, bitch is genderless, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah that's fair. It's a genderless bitch. Okay, yeah, it's a genderless bitch. It's a gender fluid bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you guys should get a free flight. I had to put up with this for three hours. Now I get it. You should get a first class upgrade on the next flight. That's what that's you very get. reasonable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's fair. By the way, did you see the Minions movie? No, I did not. Why not? You didn't dress up in a tuxedo? Nope. You don't believe in it? Nope. Do you think it's the greatest movie role out of all time? Yeah. Never been Easily. done before ever in history. Yeah. It's, it's never happened in the history of the internet. <laughs> it's unbelievable. They're geniuses. The way they did it is uh, they're absolute geniuses. The Minions are. Uh, also the minutes. Yeah. <laughs> no. Just this idea, like you understand that all these kids watched the movie when they were children. Now they are, what are they, Gen Zs they're called? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now they're, these Gen Zs are, uh, you know, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20s, early 20s. How do you get those same people that really enjoyed Minions and Minions had a profound effect on their childhood to tap into the movie again? Yeah. You don't have to teach them about the product again. And they definitely don't want to watch a child movie, like a movie only for kids. Mm -hmm. So like tapping into Yeet and creating this like marketing plan, like with the memes and other stuff, it was just genius. It's like Mm -hmm. you basically get them to feel the nostalgia while also feeling the relevance. Yeah. And a really cool thing is happening. Hip and nostalgic. Pardon? Hip and nostalgic. Hip and nostalgic. How you cross that. And and a cool thing is happening. It's like uh, with some of these marketing... Like Minions figured this out. There's something I realized when uh, social media came around. It's not just quality of content, but because younger generations uh, get social currency by sharing things, yeah. the thing that they share has to then make them cool yeah. as well. Like everything is content to these kids. Mm-hmm. So for example, going to Minions and just saying, hey, I went to the Minion movie isn't as cool as dressing up in an all black suit yes. and going to it. Yes. Bringing bananas there <clears throat> and eating it, right? Yeah. So it's like, I think what the people that did the marketing for this movie realized is the kids need to feel in on the joke. Mm-hmm. They're not just sharing like a nice piece of stand up because they're like, this is really funny. Yeah. They have to almost like something ironically. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. that's where a lot of things grow. It's like, it starts as irony. We're actually kind of making fun of this thing. We don't and really like then- it. And then all of a sudden- I like it. I like it. Yeah. Mm. Here's this white rapper kid that wears a turban. It's kind of ironic <laughs> to like him. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, oh shit, the music is kind of fire. Yeah. And then it's become a movement. And now you're down to be part of the movement because you started it. Yeah. Ironically. The, weirdly, the kids need to be making fun of the thing that they like. Yeah. It's a weird time to be a content creator too. But does it is it risky for the movie franchise? Because now you turn this movie into like a joke. And so it becomes like Sharknado or some shit like that. That's interesting. And then- but I don't think if it's, especially because they already have hits in the can. Yeah. So now you're coming out with another one. New kids probably are going to look at that like like a five-year-old. They're going to be like, ah, oh, that's not for us. Pro- possibly. That's, you know, whatever. I or think, they'll just like it regardless. I think that- A five-year-old being like, yeah, that's not- Never again. But the- It's not hip enough. It's not hip enough. Five-year-olds are the most hip. It's an interesting time to be a content creator. Yeah. Because you got to get five-year-olds who are very hip and with it. <laughs> yeah. I just feel like, I feel like it depends at this point on the movie. Hmm. So if the movie itself is good, all those kids that went there ironically will be like, that shit was kind of fire. Like, mm. you got them in the door, now it's up to you to deliver. If you don't deliver, that's a one-time lick, and you're right. It's one yeah. one and done. Try to recreate yeah. it. People are like, I don't need to come back. But if you get them in the door and they actually enjoyed the experience and liked the characters and thought the story was really cool, and you'll be able to look at, nah, not watch time, but you'll be able to look at, like, the, the, the word of mouth and how many tickets are sold, et cetera, and see if people actually like it. And be like, okay, we got something. Let's keep running it up. And mm-hmm. you know what makes a lot more sense than the argument I made, made earlier? Kids don't care. They're going to like it regardless. Mm-hmm. You just got to get the 15 year olds in. When you now say you kids, really, you mean children. Five, yeah, three, four, yeah. five. They yeah. don't care. They don't know what's. Yeah. But now I think movie um, franchises are, movie um, production houses are going to keep doing this type of thing. Oh, and then it will and just now become, it's going to be like cheesy. Well, also, the people getting the jobs for the marketing grew up with the internet. Whereas before, because mm. those kids are 25 now, yeah. 26, 27. Before, we didn't really grow up with the internet. So we're just kind of guessing. Yeah. yeah. Now these kids are like, nah, this is how you do it. I grew up with this. 
Yeah, we were talking about just the special, and I was and I was asking uh, the guys. I was asking Shub, and I was asking Shifty, and I was just like, "What what what are the things within your generation that have become popular off of like merit, mm-hmm. off of like the actual quality? Like obviously sports, you're popular if you score a lot of points because there's a there's a metric that shows how good you are, mm-hmm. right? But like, what are the 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 pieces of content that are just purely oh, this is brilliant. Mm-hmm. I have to give it up for this thing. Yeah. And it was very hard for them to come up with ideas. And I suggested Euphoria and they're like, ah, yeah, Euphoria. Like people, it's just kind of ubiquitous. Like this is a great show and we like this show. But most of the things that they were saying were popular were kind of like jokes on top of jokes that had Mm. to do with memes. Right. Mm. Right. So it was like a constant sarcasm or like a meta approach to comedy. And it's very interesting because when creating content, do you want to create the thing that's made fun of so mm. that people spread it? But like, how do you tell which one came first? Like, I feel like one perpetuates the other. I, I, yeah. So I guess that's that, the, the question I was just uh, posing was, are you playing into how kids share things and then creating the thing that is made fun of and then it's shared? Or are you organically trying to make something good and they're like, this is ridiculous, and then they share it? Yeah. I mean, I guess both happens all the time. I think they both do happen. Mm. The thing is, how do you gain that system? You know, I think when we were coming up, it's and I could be completely fucking wrong, it could be the exact same thing, but it feels a little bit more like, hey, if you make the really good thing, then people will see it. Yeah, or just cool wasn't, it's cool because we're all kind of laughing at it, then it becomes cool because we're all kind of doing it. Mm. It was just cool. Like, I, But we did have ironic things that happened before. And, yeah. I, and there's one that I'll, that I'll point out. I wonder if it was impactful for you guys. There was a time where MTV did a VJ competition. Yeah, I remember that. There was the guy that they wanted yeah. who ended up working with MTV. Yeah. I don't know for a fact that they Dave wanted. Something. I assume his name is Dave. And he ended up working for the company, being a VJ, mm-hmm. and then went on. and it was good, there. smooth. There was another guy who was a crackhead named Jesse. Yes. And he was literally like a heroin addict with a wild voice, wild hair. I think he was even fucking homeless, like some kind of like East Village kid, like whatever. And Jesse was so kind, he could barely read the teleprompter. Hmm. The other guy was like, remember he was like polished and he had the whole thing down. Repeat the line. (laughs) The guy, but people, we thought, we're like, wouldn't it be funny if the guy that should never win, they're Hmm. leaving it up to us. Wouldn't it be funny if the guy should never win, win? And we had this Minions-esque moment where we were like, Uh. let's, create satire here. Let's yeah. be ironic. We're going to ironically like the guy who's not good at his job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He is kind of authentically unique in himself, but he's not. And that movement, there was no internet. Think about that. Yeah. We're like making phone calls to make yeah. this happen. Oh, wow. Imagine that with internet. Yeah. There's memes about him. You have the polished guy who should get the job and the guy who should never be paid to talk in front of a camera. Right. And the never be paid to talk in front of the camera guy wins. Mm. I remember him winning. I don't remember anything about him, but I also don't remember everybody being like, oh, this guy, let's just laugh at him. Yeah. But the difference between this and a Minions is you didn't eventually be like, you know what, Jesse's great, dude. He's so good. I love this guy. I don't know that that happened. You could tell me. Oh, no, I don't think I don't think he ended up having like a big career yeah. after it. But And then that was the kind of fucked up thing is like immediately after it was just like, okay, we're done with that cool adventure. It's like Free Britney. Yeah. It's like mm. Free Britney was like kind of... Ironic. There are some people yeah. who actually cared, but most people didn't really even look into her psychology. It's like, oh, this is a cool thing to be a part of. And it's almost like ironic. Yeah, Free Britney. We had fun with it. We mm-hmm. made, I wore a fucking Free Britney shirt on some pod. I forget what it was. Mm-hmm. I forget. Maybe it was, maybe it was on stage. I don't know. But it was like, we're teasing this thing. Mm-hmm. I just hope that the younger generation still has room to appreciate real quality content. And, uh, I asked them, like, what's the musician that people like? And they're like, Drake. And it was like, oh, okay. Well, this oh, is quality yeah, music yeah. that they can, but they're not sharing it close to as much as they are that this guy that they can like, ironically. Drake might have been the gateway into this thing, though. Because Drake, we all laughed at the fact that he was corny, oh, but the music shit. was undeniable. No, the, the corniness creates the room for the ironic support. Mm-hmm. All the memes where he's like dancing yeah, and yeah, like yeah. looking kind of- He's Degrassi, kinda, he's wheelchair Jimmy, whatever, yeah. Yeah. So it's almost like that needs to play a part in it. Yeah, but I remember the baseline of it, and I'm not discounting what you're saying. I'm saying I think it's the gateway, because in addition, a lot of people were like, you call him corny if you want to, but the music fucking slaps. 
That was the pushback I would get as somebody who just didn't really like him from the beginning. Mm. You can act like the music don't slap. Music, it slaps. Music fun. So that's where that was there. And then the memes and shit. Like when he was dancing in the fucking, used to call me yeah, on my hot, cell phone, hotline hot hot ring. He was already yeah. fucking huge at that point. Yeah. But then it became its own like bang, bang, what bang. What meme was like, this, like yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't know what begets what because like, the reason why those memes are working is because we all know it. Like it's basically just like a digital inside joke. Everyone's yeah. like, "Oh, we've seen this meme. I know this guy. He has a funny face here that he doesn't like something, and he has a face that he likes something." That's the yeah. Meme. yeah. Yeah, you know, there's a line in the, the Office. My wife loves The Office. Great show, but she loves it, so it's on a lot. And there's a line where like Michael Scott's like the goofy guy that nobody likes, and he goes, uh, "I love inside jokes. I'd love to be a part of one someday." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a funny line, but also that is essentially what you just said is like, "Yo, how happy are we when we're all a part of the inside joke?" Yeah. yeah. And then we just share it and share it and share it, and then eventually it's gonna catch everybody. And if it's quality, you'll be like, "Yo, this is actually dope, though." Yeah. yeah. And then you become a fan, fan. Yeah. So I, I think yeah. Drake realized that early on, and he like leaned into it, like he, to. For people to meme him, yeah, he, he, he did saw stuff. the power sure. of yeah. the meme, yeah. yeah. And at first, it used to bother. Marketing ability, I think. Because uh, remember, when he first came out, people were saying, "Oh, it looked like he has Down syndrome. This kid is like super emo." Yeah, like Canadian somehow, rapper. Yeah, or whatever, yeah. somehow he just he looks like a sharp A. <laughs> sharp like a sharp A. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Like, yeah, some, yeah. Like he leaned into it, and now people don't necessarily make fun of his like actual character. It's just like, hey, we'll just make fun of when he actually wants us to make fun of him. Yeah. So now everybody's so like, in on the joke. When I do the "I'm too sexy" song or whatever, it's like, yeah, ah, this is easy to mean. Yeah. He has right. a great sense of humor about yeah. himself. Yes. It seems. I yeah, didn't yeah, know yeah. about the beginning, but like, it seems like he's willing to take a joke and he makes fun of himself and he's very like loose with it, which is incredibly likable when it's someone that famous. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. most famous people, I don't want to say, I don't know most, but like the famous people that we see that seem incredibly sensitive to being teased or being positioned yeah. in a weird way. Yeah. And like, when you see somebody that's that famous, that successful, that's laughing at themselves, you're like, oh wow, are you like a real person? Yeah. Mm. You know? Now, what were you saying? There was- Yeah, I guess like the place where it gets hung up is like, I feel like if the brand or the person is too self-aware and like they are perpetuating overhandedly the memes, you know mm. what I mean? Like, I feel like Drake uh, does a good job of like doing it subtly. Whereas he'll, he'll like, oh, I'll do a song and then people will just pick it up organically because that's what people do. So like it can come across thirsty if you're like too in on it? Yeah, exactly. Or if like he's the one that's like, hey guys, we're doing a new challenge. We're doing the My Song Challenge. It's like, uh, oh, it's not yeah, fun anymore because yeah. you're telling me the inside joke. Right. Well, re- real quick on this, I'm not teasing you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. too in on it. Yeah. yeah. Even if you are in it, shut the fuck up. Yeah. yeah. Let them be the ones that do it because then they're going to get all the credit. If you're the one pushing your own dance, Kiki challenge. If Shiggy and doesn't he, push he it and Drake does, shit for that too. Yeah. Oh wait, wait. Like a little bit because it felt forced. It was like, oh, he's really trying to get a TikTok song to blow, and like we were kind of knocking it at first. That and Kiki challenge? Yeah, I think so. Oh. I think most people were like, oh, I thought Shiggy. I thought, yeah, I thought Shiggy started it and it blew up, and then I saw fucking Sierra doing it. And I was like, yeah, this is but wild. like the fact that he has like the steps to the dance in the song, the two C slide. No, like, the two C slide. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm thinking, thinking of that confusing. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think he thought two C slide. I mean, it's just so And that crazy. one he got pushed back for. I think exactly. that's his point. Actually. Yeah, yeah, I think we that's made fun of him. We're yeah. like, oh, you want the TikTok yes. dance. Yeah. But ironically, the one that blows up is the one where Shiggy, shouts to Shiggy, just does a hilarious video in his fucking sandals outside of his house yeah. in Queens. And it becomes like a dance trip, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that is the pureness. And that is Drake, authenticity. And then Drake leaned in and did a video with Shiggy and blah, blah, blah. Like, he let it become a thing. Then and he then was he in on it. And then yeah. he's more likable. But that that's, I guess, what's so impressive about the Minions movie is that it isn't authentic. Right. It isn't pure, but is done so well that even the people that recognize they're being marketed to mm. are allowing themselves to be marketed to mm. and playing into the marketing. And it doesn't hurt the fact that they, they, they outlawed it and like people are getting arrested for it because now it looks bad. Yeah. So was that, because that's how I found out about it, is the kids wearing the suits to the yeah. premiere. Was yeah. that a planted thing or was that just something that happened organically? I don't know, I don't know how it was. Who starts. knows? I don't Who know. Because I think if that happened organically, that's how I found out about it. And that's how I was like, oh, this movie seems fun. Yeah. Even as a 38-year-old man, I'm like, this seems fun. Maybe no, it's, it's a movie. It's, uh, what is that shit that was by where we lived, uh, our old place in East Village, the, where they dress up, Rocky Horror. Oh, Rocky, Rocky Horror, Horror Picture Show. Show. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, yeah, it's fun to be on the inside. Yeah. It's yeah. the inside joke. You're wearing yeah. the outfits. You're dressed up. It's it, but it's it, fun to be mischievous. If Minions is post on their Instagram like, "Hey guys, we're all dressing up in suits, going to the movie." That's why it's not mischievous. Yeah, yeah it's yo, corny. if Minions really want to throw gas on it, 
Hey guys, please do us a favor. Yes. Yeah. Don't wear the suits yeah. and move the ears because it's causing a lot of problems. People are very concerned and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. yeah. Out of here. But that's how they do it. So like they link with Cole Bennett, the music video producer. Yes. And they're like, yeah, do the song with Yeet and like we'll give you rights to it, but we're not going to promote it at all. And so you just meme it the way that you're going to do it to your audience mm. and the way they're going to like it. But we, I haven't seen anything from them saying yeah. that they acknowledge it. There's no post like on their have you seen the Have you seen the music video? This yeah. is the most interesting part of it. Mm -hmm. It's There's not a single shot in the music video that isn't in the movie. Yeah. It's just re-edited parts uh, of the movie. Yeah. Mm. And I'm sure that was a part of the deal. They're like, okay, you can do like the lyrical lemonade thing in the braces when, you, when the minion smiles at the very beginning, yeah. but you can't add anything else. There's one thing that they added. They added pictures of Yeet as a minion uh, into like the Polaroid pictures smart. or whatever. But that's what movie soundtracks- It's very subtle. Um, music videos used to be. They would just have mostly video and then snippets of the movie. Yeah. Like the fucking Diddy one for God, uh, Godzilla. Uh, it had like- uh, yeah, 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 it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was like kind of in yeah. the movie setting, but it wasn't. It's mainly Diddy performing and then a little cut to the movie. This is the opposite. It flips it. Yeah. Barely any of Yeet, just regular Yeet and the rest is just minions. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's just interesting. I'm curious what happens. I'm curious, like, what type of art comes out of this generation and, like, how they develop a balance between, like, irony and quality. Mm -hmm. Because it needs to be quality for you to be in on it. I think that's one of the things that, and I, I don't know too much about Yeet, but I think that's one of the things that, like, sets him apart is that, like, even though there was irony in finding him, the music had quality where you enjoyed listening to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, like, this random perfect combination Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, it's ironic to like the white kid from fucking Seattle that wears a turban. Yeah. That's kind of like, that does rap music. That's right. ironic. And then you listen to it, you're like, hold on now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? Like, mm -hmm. how do you create that? How do you curate that? How do you use that type of marketing as like somebody coming up that, I don't know. Yeah. yeah I don't know. I just think it has to be very subtle and like uh, hands off in a way. Yeah, yeah. You can't force them. Yeah. They have to create it themselves. It has to. And then how do you inspire that? Without having like, um, what are they called? Uh, plants or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you could do plants. Like I wouldn't call like necessarily Cole Bennett's collab like a plant, but like, you know, like an affiliate marketing thing. But yeah. then like they let happen and they recognize people that are talented that are making stuff that is moving culture. Yeah. That then they just say, do it the way you want to do it. To yeah. me, I'm like, that's the future of marketing that if the brands want to be smart about it, they just let creators do whatever they want to do with the things that they want them to push. But tapping into the creators that already have a stranglehold on a group or culture. Yeah, mm -hmm. but like if Cole Bennett's like, hey guys, come out to watch the Whack. thing. Make a fun, do it the way you're going to do it. Bro, do that's it the way what, Cole I mean, does. anytime we talk to, you know, brands that we're working with, right? It's just like, you. if you let us do it honestly, it will be way more impactful. Yes. Yeah. Beyonce gets, a, so I can't even imagine how many millions from Pepsi to do a Super Bowl ad. Then they pay for the ad itself. Then they pay for the airtime. Yeah. Imagine they just threw Beyonce half of that total money and we're like, do whatever you want, make it yours. The whole different, I think it hits harder. Mm. I think it saves them money. I think it makes the creator more money. I think in every way it would be more effective. Mm. Yeah, it's so funny. It's like once, once brands or corporations figure out how to do this model, and I think maybe we touched on this earlier, but like the model will only less, uh, last for like a couple of years. Mm. You're like once it becomes obvious that every Pixar movie is tapping into the cool musician yeah. and having them make the video, like literally Hollywood is a race to be second. So right now yeah. there is a cartoon coming out and they're like, we need a song with yes. future. Mm -hmm. We need yeah. a song yeah. with blah, blah, yeah. blah. Playboy Cardi's going to do a thing. Yeah. 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 yeah, literally Playboy Cardi. How do we get Playboy Cardi be in the new Dracula movie? He'll do the thing. Yeah. And it's like, and then like you said earlier, we'll notice that we're being like marketed to. Mm. And then we'll reject the marketing. Is a good subtle example of it, uh, Jack, Jack being in White Man Can't Jump, where it's like, hey, you're going to be in this movie. You're probably a good actor. You're probably good at ball. Mm -hmm. And it's not super, like, you do whatever marketing you want to do. You don't have to try. Just your name being in it yeah. is the equivalent of throwing Eat a Bag to do. Uh, so now we can be way, way less. We don't have to be obnoxious at all. We don't have to be in your face at all. And you're still getting all your fans. And yeah. it's becoming a part of, the like uh what the cultural conversation yeah the zeitgeist what yeah Jack Harlow doing Tyler Hero as a song like, oh Tyler, yeah Tyler Hero is a very good basketball player but is there like a certain irony to like uh, him being like the sort of swaggy white kid uh, maybe and like his jersey sells numbers yeah uh. no there's some there's something to that I I think there's something to that 
I, I don't know if that was like orchestrated. I, I imagine with, I imagine with the white man can jump movie that production was going, we've got the old heads that grew up with this movie. Yeah. Mm. It don't matter who we put in it. Yeah. I'm showing up. Yeah. It'd be hard for me to not go watch. You white put man Woody and Wesley in it. I'm in. I mean, forget it. That's a scene. I'm but, in. Yeah. I'm but, going nuts. Exactly. But what can we put in to tap into the youth who were the age of the kids that saw White Man Can't Jump yep. when it first came out? Yeah. Mm. So how do we, like, we know we're going to get the young kids from Minions because parents are like, okay, it's a cartoon movie. I don't have to listen to my kid for two right. hours. I'll take them. Mm-hmm. How do we get the teenagers in the 20s? Tap into culture. Yeah. There, I feel like reverse engineering it, and it's like, we know we got the old heads. How do we get the youth? Yeah. And, and I think Jack is definitely the play. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You want to have some feelings, no facts? All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because, look, we're all adults here. And I know some of us choose to use nicotine to relax, focus, or just unwind after a long day. But Lucy is a modern oral nicotine company that makes nicotine gum, lozenges, and pouches for adults who are looking for the best, most responsible way to consume their nicotine. It's a new year. Why not start it out by switching to a new nicotine product that you can feel good about? Look, even if you don't use nicotine, you got a family member who does, give them a clean alternative. If they're going to keep doing it, you might as well give them a better option. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. If you enjoy using nicotine, you should definitely check out Lucy's products at lucy.co, L-U-C-Y.co. Go to lucy.co and use the promo code flagrant. You get 20% off all products on your first order, including gum or lozenges. That's lucy.co and use the promo code flagrant at checkout. Also, I have to read this disclaimer warning. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. So remember, if you're interested in a better way to use nicotine, visit lucy.co and be sure to use that promo code flagrant. Now let's get back to the show. You know, you've heard me talk about how much I love Native, all right? Thoughtful formulation behind all their products is something that I've always appreciated because they understand it's not just what's on the inside that counts, but also the outside. And that's why Native is releasing their deodorant that I know and I love in new and improved plastic-free packaging. Just like all of Native's other deodorants, their plastic-free deodorant is aluminum and paraben-free. It kills odor-causing bacteria and has 24-hour odor protection to keep you feeling and smelling fresh. With Native, choose from 10 cents, including their classic coconut and vanilla, sensitive formulas that are formulated without baking soda and even unscented as well if you don't want those delicious smells. Listen, if you're ready to try plastic-free deodorant, go to nativedeo.com slash flagrant or use the promo code flagrant at checkout and get 20% off your first order. That's nativedeo.com slash flagrant or use the promo code flagrant at checkout for 20 percent off your first order now let's get back to the show brad pitt has face blindness yo this is the most lit yeah. shit yeah. ever yeah bro just uh, shout out to brad pitt brad pitt seems like a funny kind of cool dude seems like great. i don't know him at all but like <laughs> I love how he diagnosed himself with I don't give a fuck about strangers. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's not that you're blind. Uh, it's just like I don't remember you. You're one of the most famous people on the planet. And you when remember me. People bro. talk to me. I need to have a medical diagnosis for why I don't yes. know who you are. And yeah. think of how many people you meet if you're Brad Pitt. Every fucking person on the street wants to say hi to you. Yes. I gotta remember your face. People get offended if you don't remember their face. It's like, bro, you're Brad Pitt. You're meeting. 10,000 people a day. Yeah. Who the fuck is you? And probably important people being like, hey, I'm, investing, I'm an investor in your company. You remember me? And he's like, fuck. Fuck. He's so many faces. Guy. So this is the, it's brilliant, dude. It's brilliant. What's the name of the shit? Yeah, oh, Asian like disease? What, got- is <laughs> what is it? What is it? What is it called? Face blindness. Face, face nah, blindness. I like this. I got yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, I got that. I mean, I think it's just- Only for white people. Awesome. Huh? Only for white people. Okay, what else? Yeah, right? Okay. Um, there's a senator that is running- and uh, she posted a twerking video that got people very upset. Oh, isn't she already an elected official? I believe. I think she's like a state. State senator. Senator for yeah. like Rhode Island or something? I believe so. And God this bless. Is, this you is got the video my vote. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to encourage people to vote. You want young people to vote? There you go. I mean, as is mid. <laughs> oh, my. And if you're comparing it to other senators, okay. But the ass is not crazy. I mean, just, that's, that's pretty fucking crazy, talent, though. bro. Yeah. Again? That's just talent. 
Like it's a, a talented skill. How you skill. think I got all that semen off the floor? <laughs> oh, really? Is that how you did it? Bro, how, the, how the fuck you think That's I how did you stopped that? slipping on semen? That's, That's how like I that? stopped slipping on semen. You was twerking semen. at the same time too? Fine. That's a natural just a balance. You need to do that. Are you voting for her or no? <laughs> Say again? Are you voting for her? I do vote in Rhode Island. Okay. And I will be voting for her. You're going to go to Rhode Island just to vote? I support black women. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And I support black owned businesses. Mm. Mm. Okay. Respect. Wait, what, is, what does she have to do with a black owned business? You all that cake? You, you got a bakery. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Alex. I had absolutely nothing. <laughs> <I got you. laughs> okay, what else we got? Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, this avalanche video is just fucking insane, first off. I don't yeah, know this if, shit is crazy. Did you see this? Yeah, this shit is crazy. crazy. This shit was insane. Nah, so this, this is, is a dude. Is but he, why does it stop? I need to see what happens next if he ended up living. So I actually don't know where this is. I mean, how do you is. think he posted the video, Doug? So oh, they could have found a camera, homie, on the body. No, so they all lived. It's under snow. It's probably water damaged. Everybody lived. Snow. Hey, water, snow. What? Oh, no, this is a fun little hangout. What? I'm actually curious to see where what? this goes. Hold on. Finish, finish the thought real quick. It's not water damage. It's snow. It's snow. Okay. I'm, I'm neutral still, but I could be swayed. What happens to snow as it melts? Why would it melt? You don't think snow just naturally melts? But why would it melt in this environment? You're looking at a glacier. You talking about the rest of the ground that's not covered in snow? Well, it's about to be. And you don't think it's above 32 degrees of the ground? You think the snow is just going to stay frozen? I don't think enough will melt to ruin the camera, no. That's why we have the footage, dumbass. <laughs> no, we have the footage because he lived, you fucking retard. How'd he live? I'd just like to know that. He tucked behind the rocks. This isn't And then it gets sand. completely covered by snow. Let's just watch nah. it, okay? Watch. So, he's so stupid. <laughs> He swam to the top after it all melted and he, and he survived. <laughs> That's what happened. Yeah. No, that is true. So he's kind of filming. He's like, damn, this avalanche is kind of crazy. It's getting pretty close, but everyone else is in the shelter at this point. Yeah, my man is backing up. <laughs> uh, nah, he's That's zooming zoom. out. Keeps oh, on, shit. Keeps on yeah. moving. This avalanche keeps on kind of coming close. He's like, yo, this shit going to go viral. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute, it's coming right Hold on. about. And yeah, at this point, are you not a little bit running? Oh. Okay. Oh. Crazy. <laughs> now, do you have anything to say? Yeah, Fucking he got out. Retarded. <laughs> yeah, he got out. After it melted. Do we know for a fact that he got out? Yes. 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 And he waited for it to melt. Yes, and he swam to the top. Yes. That's all, that is what happened. Dove, what happened? He's behind the rocks. He said it was like being in a blizzard, and he got out. It was like a rainstorm, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> is that what he said, or is this you paraphrasing? I saw. He he didn't have to swim up. I saw. What does oh, that mean, I saw? I saw. I saw. You guys are amazing. It does do I it saw. miles right now. You guys are, abs you guys are absolutely amazing. Is that, is, that that a, said, is that a theory or a fact? That's, yeah. a, that's a theory. If you're this guy, what do you yeah. do? You try to outrun that? Yeah. Bro, I'm going into it. It's like a it's like a tsunami. You have to take the boat into it. Okay. Yeah. And that stops it. But a tsunami's different because that's <laughs> a tsunami's all, that's also the worst that's tsunami water. advice, that's I'm water. pretty sure. Say again? No, I think, I don't no, think, I think that's that is tsunami good advice. advice. If you feel a tsunami's coming, you try to beat the when it breaks. Yeah. You go you gotta take your boat. Your boat's about to get fucked up. You gotta take it into the wave. Exactly. Into the tidal wave. No, that ass, that's what they do. Really? Swear to God in my life. I'm not making that up. I'm not trying to be uh, yeah. joking around. because your boat's going to get destroyed if you leave it there. And if your whole life is your boat, they basically take the boats deep out into sea because you have some time. You know, oh, if okay. a tsunami's coming, that, there's okay. like a warning because the earthquake happens in the middle of the ocean or whatever. Right, like the tide know. pulls in crazy. Oh, that's that's the other thing. That's the crazy shit with tsunamis. When the tide pulls in, the boats are just on the fucking sand. Oh, shit. Isn't that wild? Yeah, I did not know that. So you're fucked. But then you got some warning even in the city, right? Like. Everybody got to evacuate, get the fuck out of here ASAP. That's why it's fucked up when you see them motherfuckers on, like, on like the island resort. Yeah. It's like, did nobody say? Yeah, no heads up or nothing. That's crazy. But anyway, so this one, what were we trying to argue about? How do you, how do you get away? If you're this guy, you're filming an avalanche. I yeah. probably would have done what he did, bro. I didn't think there was a chance that shit was going to come Right, it seems so far away, like no shot. Yeah. With the tsunami, though, is it bad that I feel like... If you know what's coming, you can kind of ride it out. Patrice, that's a Patrice. Is it really? That's a what great bit. He goes, I got saw that tsunami, and I was like, 
It looked like I could have lived through that. Right? Like, a little. It seemed like, like, it seemed like ooh, you just raised one. your pants in. Ooh, it's, a, it's a high one. It's a high one. <laughs> but if you have a, a, like a vest or a boat or some shit. Yeah, I think it's more like like cars hitting you and you getting pinned under something. Yeah. You know, like, uh, same with a tornado, I guess. Like That's what kills you in a tornado. Yeah, you getting thrown into a Yeah, you just have a fucking washing machine hit your head or, or something. Or washing yeah, yeah, exactly. Like the wind, if it was just wind. That'd be awesome. Kind of fun. Be awesome. You just jump in and out of it. Yeah. Have you ever seen a tornado? In life? Yeah. Actually, I have. Really? Yeah. Not one of them big shits. By a little guy? A little twister. Where'd you see him? Long Island. <laughs> okay, I don't think that's a tornado. I did. I saw one in Long Island, bro. <laughs> like a water spout? Yeah, water spout. Okay, yeah, yeah, where it's over the water and it looks like a tornado. Yeah, because it, it almost like pulls up some water. Yeah, into yeah, it. it's yeah. That shit's gnarly. crazy. Yeah, yeah. I have a, that's kind of one of my dreams. I want to see one from far. I want to be a storm chaser. Have you seen the movie Twister? No. What? Bro, yeah, yeah. It's this a Bill Paxton, shit. Helen Hunt. Yeah. This poor rest kid. in peace. Uh, R.I.P. Oh, Bill boy. Paxton's in it. The fucking. Now I'm definitely gonna watch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know it is Bill Paxton and Helen Hunt. Bill Paxton a G, dude. He's in fucking Titanic. They have a whole all-star cast and Twister. Yeah, yeah. Who was he? Guess who else he was, is in uh, there? One of the original, like the people that are excavating. Philip the Seymour Hoffman no. is in the film. Well, now I have to see it. Is it in theaters? <laughs> I'm definitely gonna go out and watch well, that it. That was a big budget Hollywood film. Also, fired. by the way, for the Avalanche, there was only a thin layer that ended up covering him. Got gotcha. you. Anyway, next. Okay, this guy gets on an airplane, mm -hmm. airdrops his penis. <laughs> To uh, multiple uh, people on the airplane and then allegedly gets arrested. This is the TikTok that went viral. Yo, pause. I heard, he, I heard the video he was getting nicked. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a, oh, it's a video yeah. of him getting head. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. thought it was just a dick pic. Yeah. Okay, first of all, a couple things with this. Which is very different. Yeah. He's like, yeah. Some of y'all just, talent, some of y'all's iPhones is just called iPhone. Mm. Yeah. Like some of y'all didn't name your iPhones. Mine is just iPhone. It's just iPhone. So you might be thinking you're sending it to your boys because they just got iPhone, and then you're sending it to other people. On an airdrop? Yeah. <laughs> you think you're on you can't the plane? just text your homie? Nah, it's airdrop, bro. <laughs> yeah, well, so yeah, you ever yeah. sent a head? No service on the fucking plane to send a video of a dick suck? <laughs> I message yo. <laughs> How Pay for the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi ain't strong enough to yeah. send a full video. So I stream full ass video on my plane a couple days ago. Yeah, but that Indian should have shot on a fucking beeper. You could stream anything. <laughs> like that, you watch Bollywood movies. Of course you could do that. <laughs> We save money where we know how. That's <laughs> it. But while you send a video, you're getting your whole dick sucked to your friend. Because you the boys like yeah. to see it. Yeah. Have you ever done that? Yo, uh, fuck yeah, bro. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Have you done this? If you have a girl giving crazy talent, like you get somebody can I be, see this. Don't apply to us because we're one women people. I've never, but imagine if it was just if oh, you just had completely. No one's ever sent me a dick suck. I'm gonna video. be honest with you. you. Want me to send you my dick? No, I mean, <laughs> you're bringing it up. <laughs> get it up on the screen. Airdrop uh, it. This is actually kind of serious. <laughs> I've sent one to you on a plane before. No, you have not. And the fact that you haven't received it makes me very concerned who <laughs> did. <laughs> Wait, whose dick were you sucking? <laughs> now it's some guy like, yo, this comedian's slipping on semen over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. oh, that's good. That's good. Um, <laughs> no, I don't. So here's my question about this. This right here is illegal. You can go to jail. You get arrested, right? Yeah, I think it's the dick suck instead of the maybe just a penis. I don't know, but a dick suck that that could be like a revenge porn well, or whatever well, the fuck. You, mm. Oh, you're 100 right about the revenge porn. He can maybe get he can get arrested for the revenge porn, but not inconveniencing these people that he's airdropped to. I don't and, know. And, um, and here's why I'm asking. Because on Twitter, people retweet Sorry. videos of motherfuckers sucking dicks. They were retweeting the Hunter Biden shit. All this shit pops up on your feed. Yeah. Good point. Right? So now you're forcing dick sucks into people's feeds. Yeah. Right? Mm. 100%. Is that that different than forcing dick sucks onto, your, onto their phone? Mm. A forced dick suck is a forced dick suck. I think you're right. <laughs> My eyeballs can't take that I shit back. I think you're right. Can we see what he got charged with because like yep. what did he do oh my god son. Gee, oh. <laughs> dude just pull him up son yeah, even you gotta go one way just, just don't fight it i gotta Please. start wearing shorts bro. bro i gotta start wearing shorts you are <laughs> you are <laughs> that's something i realized when i went to italy something that just will not catch on in america i don't care what the fuck it is it will never catch on tight jean shorts 
Like, oh, yeah, yes. where they cut off right they here? They cut off right above the knee, yeah. and their skin Italians tight. Italians love that, I don't bro. get it. Son, it's like- I didn't thought that was a real thing until this moment. I yeah. swear to God. Ferrari shoes, cut off jean shorts, Ferrari Armani shoes shirts. also mad weird. Also, with the ankle sock, and yeah, the yeah, yeah. like, for real, bro? Get the low cut? This is the most fashionable country on the planet. This is all of them in Europe, they do it. Yeah. It's so mind-boggling because so much fashion is transferable, right? There's mm -hmm. so many things that are kind of like fun, interesting. Our shit to them, them to us. It happens all the time. Mm -hmm. You go there, you see chicks wearing the old metal band t-shirts and shit. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's a vibe. Yeah. There's something about Americans where we will not, we will wear a cut-off jean short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wear, Some I wear, white boys will do the shit where it's all tasseled and everything I like that. I wear shorts, yeah. You, Florida. Yeah. Florida, Florida. <laughs> we will not do the tight on purpose yep. with the hem. Yep. Yeah. No, the hem is crazier. The hem. the hem is crazier. Yep. Yeah, you got the little strings hanging out tight. All right. It's like, okay. Weird. Too tight. That's the worst part about liking, liking soccer. Why? Is that you like these players and you like these, you're like, oh, and this you see guy's the way the they sickest. dress. And then you see them dressing on the way to the bus and you're like, what are you doing? Super A, yo. It's insane because like every NBA player is swagged out no matter what. Super swag. But then you look at the soccer players and they're just dressed like an average European. Some of these NBA players be dressing like be doing fucking idiots, bro. Yeah. They be doing a lot, <laughs> What yo. do you mean? I'm a hater. Like the ones that are going for it. The ones that's trying. Like, like the that. Russell Westbrook's. They be treating like the Met Gala, wearing these goofy yeah. ass like, Cocoa Puffs or whatever. Yeah. Get oh, out of here. Let them have yeah. a little fun, bro. I don't know. You got six turnovers, fam. I don't need you to think about your <laughs> outfit. Like, Thank if you. you ball and dress however the fuck you want, Thank Steph you. Curry can wear the fuck he wants. And he don't even dress that crazy. Oh, yeah. they should have a dress, like a wardrobe budget, depending on your last game. 100%. Oh, that's a great You can move. only dress up to like you that, know, how many points you got. Yo, you know how many more wins teams would have if they did that? I'll pay for all your clothes based yeah. on your performance. <laughs> If you if you had no stats or like you played trash, you just have to wear like a regular outfit, like all all white or some shit. Nah, you just gotta not you all, that, not even they, all white. They white can an be outfit. fashionable. That's, That's facts. Uniform. What they, do they gotta wear? They gotta just have like a uniform. Suit. Yeah, just a regular thing. Sweatsuit. That's it. Sweatsuit. Keep it simple, bro. Mm -hmm. Mismatching sweatsuit. Ooh, that's 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 far. Gray sweatpants, black it. hoodie. Whoa. Yo, you gotta show up to the <laughs> you gotta show up to the game just in your shorts and jersey. Yeah. <laughs> Why does nobody do that? You That's see the dude that, that dressed up as Clay Thompson? That was great. Phenomenal. Oh, that guy was amazing. Band for life and so worth it. And he's dressed so as Clay Thompson in full uniform. And he's like, where do I park? Yo, but hold <laughs> on. And all the parking attendants <laughs> were like, oh yeah, Clay Thompson right over Son, there. Son, this is the most fire shit. It, this was playoffs, right? Yes. So he was warming up. He's yes. on the court warming up. Can you think about the fear in the heart of the guy rebounding for him as he missed like six threes in a row <laughs> yeah. for a playoff game. Like he put all the money on Boston. <laughs> He's calling all the, yo, Clay's off tonight. Yeah. Motherfucker's winded. We just Scrap doing it. layup drills. Scrap. And he looks weird too. He looks funny. <laughs> he looks fat. He looks Ill. drunk. Yeah. Release uh, looks bro. off. I don't know. He's, He's got COVID. COVID. He's got full he COVID. got it, bro. <laughs> they just put all the money on Boston. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. And then, yo, you know what you got to do if you're a rival team of Golden State, the Lakers, whoever, you got to get the guy season tickets. For life. Oh, yeah, yeah, life. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he can still be at yeah, the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Sit him courtside in the uniform. Yes. Just talking shit to Clay. That'd yes. be perfect. Yeah. Right next to the Warriors bench. Have him stand up, pull for the ball and shit yeah. like that. Yeah, sub in randomly. Who yeah. cares? Like, just be crazy. Okay, last question. Yes. Are y'all drinking Beyonce's piss? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. You just said, you already said yes? You said yes. Sir. Yeah, you already said yes. yes You're locked in. Wait, are you, said are you in a relationship with her? <laughs> I thought you said my wife. Oh, yeah, right. I if, you said Beyonce. Oh, okay, my bad. If it's if you're if it's to be her girl, his her man or girl, whatever she wants <laughs> yeah, me to yeah. be. I don't give a fuck. Yo, you simping? You simping? Yeah, I would simp for Beyonce. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm I'll, trying to be Beyonce's girl, bro. Yeah, I'll, I'll be Beyonce's girl. I'll be a kept woman for yeah. Beyonce. Five hundred million? We yeah. don't do that. I want Beyonce to look at me and say, "Oh my god!" Yeah, I said yes with no question. Yeah. You say yes with no money? Assuming we're all single. Yeah. Would we drink a hot cup of Beyonce's piss? This is coming from Kevin Gates, by the way, just for Full context. Cup? Oh, shout out to Kevin Gates. That guy's so He's goddamn so good. entertaining. Funny, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Um, I'd prefer it chilled. Yeah, like a repo? Like a yeah, reposado? Yeah, 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 on the rocks? I would go, oh no, if I could have it on the rocks, dude. Yeah, oh, no, it's light. And a splash or like a whole full cup? What are we, what are Can we talking Can you mix about? it with anything? Is it weird I want to start drinking? Like that we're talking about this? <laughs> like I literally got water. a feeling. I was like, we should have a drink. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Splash of cranberry juice, maybe some Red Bull. Nah, you can't mix it with anything. You can't yeah, help don't, it taste better. Yeah, don't mix, better. don't mix. Yo, I yeah. heard urine can have like um, healing things. I said that to my wife when I pissed all over her ass when she got a jellyfish bite. Think yeah. about that. It heals for jellyfishes. Yeah, yeah, when I dumped a hot piss on her ass <laughs> <laughs> to save her from a jellyfish, yeah. which still has a fucking uh, scar from it. 
Well, you didn't pee soon. enough. You gotta heal soon. That's on you, bro. Is that normal jellyfish stings? Like they yeah, last that yeah, long? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? I just mm -hmm. be saying that shit though. I'm be honest with you. Yo, fuck yeah. you, bro. <laughs> but I think that's on you. Why don't you do more to yeah, pee you or something? So if I peed more, it would have burned her less. Well, I don't know. Yeah, maybe pee or I think you just got to keep peeing on some it. other substances. I, okay, I don't want to make this, guys. I don't want to make this about my wife and and my me saving her and how I'm a hero. I, I'd rather make <laughs> this more just about Beyonce's urine. Are we talking about a double shot? of Beyonce's piss. Mm. Ice, rocks, glass, yeah. sip casually. Put some twisty boys. oranges on it. And a straw. You want garnish. You want that. You're not yeah. gonna go raw. We gotta go raw. Yeah, with you the make it look nice. Martini, you martini glass. You gotta come on. Mm. Gotta be some class. Bro. Yeah, you fucking up the flavor, bro. Yeah. You gotta get into the flavor of it. It's like a whiskey. Mm. I want her dehydrated, aged? low key. You want it yeah. aged? I want her dehydrated. Yeah. I want Petey. that shit you coming out Petey. like Gatorade, yeah, bro. I want smoky. that shit orange Gatorade. Uh. Shake and not stirred, right? That's it. And don't, I want her to shake first, then pee. Like mm. shaking within her body. Oh, oh wow. that's fire. Yes. No, that's. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, 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 now we're having fun. Uh, uh, now we're having fun. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. yeah. Do that. Then you drop a hot piss mm. onto a rock. One rock, one of the big blocks. Like yes. Oh, they chipped class, it inside class, the bar. I don't want it to. Yeah, I don't want it to. Oh, I, uh, yeah, yeah. Like they cut it themselves yes. that morning. One hundred percent. And I want it to hit the rock and be like splattering out, <laughs> cause problems. Mm. I want the bartender to be cleaning that shit up. Oh wow. Yeah. That so you, would, would you wouldn't do bottled. You would do a draft. Or I would do like a um, like a Poland spring with a sport top. Oh, do, I do you like, like a that. sport top? Only I, if it's Beyonce's piss. That's that's a good it exception. Feels more lifelike that I, way. Yeah, I, streamed at your true. face. You know that's what I mean? why I don't like a sport top. I really don't like a sport top because it reminds reason. you too much of piss. It just feels like you're sucking on this nipple thing. Like it feels too weird to me. And you uh, also got to like squeeze it, squirt it out. I don't believe in a sport top. He had issues when he was a kid. Uh, so so like, how that's like this guy. That, that, I don't like that, 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 same reason I don't like an over easy egg. Some oh, deep seated shit. Right over here, easy bro. egg is too cummy to me. Slipping on semen, bro. Like, what is you ever over eat an over easy egg? Which one is over easy? That's like when it's super slippery in the middle. Oh, like right. the pure yolk untouched? Yeah. Sunny yeah. side up? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's just, you're slipping on breakfast and shit. You ever do that? I love. A yeah. loose egg. Hey, yeah. Yo, that, yeah. no, you cannot. Yeah, I'm, not I'm, not I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Be done though. Pop that shit. Pause though. You see how I he eats all eggs. the other stuff it's... on the plate and I dip it into that. That's, that's fine. That's fine. No, that's no, I'll do that. It. That's wildness though. No, I'll do that. That's fine. Do that with a burger. Yeah. Oh, I put. I want that shit dripping on my burger. Actually, okay, because mm. egg tastes good with other no. shit, like an egg on top of an avocado toast or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you're that's your idea. Other egg stuff. by itself is is wild. That's yes. my point. That's no, my no, point. No, 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 no. Yeah. This guy every day at the first three years of the podcast used to eat two deviled eggs and what not was the fucking egg, thing? Not deviled. Hard, hard, hard boiled eggs. Hard eggs. Hard what is a deviled egg? I didn't know it was a difference. Does anyone know what that is? I don't know what a deviled egg is. Wait, it's an egg from a rooster. That's true. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it. You're sleeping on semen. <laughs> great. That was a great line, though. <laughs> okay. But but in all seriousness, going back to your uh, issues with uh, Sport liquid. Top or over easy? No, the egg. I'm just okay. saying, like, with the egg, you have an aversion to it because it reminds you of semen. Yes. And I don't know why that's in my head that I know what semen feels like, but every time I eat an egg, I go, this is it. That's mad gay, bro. That's sad. What is it? You eat over easy so eggs. Sus, you eat bro. over easy eggs. That's that gayer. You, yeah, but you're thinking about semen every time you eat an eggs, bro. Well, now you are also. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, Next I'm time not. you have an over easy egg, just think of me. <laughs> Eggs is Yo, pure my name. feminine. Yo, my name. Eggs Al. is the most feminine Yo, food. Yeah, quickly, I'm yeah, gonna take literally. the eggs down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like a single <laughs> good, good. <laughs> You're like Popeye. That's your spinach. Let's okay. go, out. Okay, okay. Here's something. You mentioned that egg tastes great with other things, yes. but not by itself. Correct. Okay. Salt. L yeah. Mike Put it on something. Yes. Unbelievable, yeah. incredible, <laughs> makes it, it, it extracts all the flavors, makes the flavors so much better. It's the best thing you ever tried. Like, by itself. You just described all seasoning. It just all seasoning. Yeah. It's so stupid. All of them. Hold on, one second. White people learn about seasoning. White people learn about seasoning. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. I'm not done yet. I'm not done. Lowry's. Hold on. I'm not done. You take Lowry's, you put on anything. This is no, this is actually more Lowry's. But if you take a spoonful of Lowry's, no one likes Lowry's alone. I'm eating saffron just out of the tin. If my wife made a marinade, puts the chicken in the marinade. Yes. Uh-huh. I tried some of that marinade. Yeah, keep going. It was I couldn't eat it. Yeah. After letting it sit in the marinade and then cooking the chicken 
<laughs> the chicken had so much flavor. Yeah. It was unbelievable. What? It was unbelievable. <laughs> wait, wait. You drank the marinade after it had the raw chicken in it? No, right before, prior. Oh, That's a lie. That's a big ass lie. He was like, I caught my man lying. You got fucking salamander right now. <laughs> You're full okay. of it. Guys, guys, another thing. Okay. <laughs> yo, he's going to describe more seasoning. <laughs> That's all he's doing is, yo, yo, anytime you have spice by itself, no good. Have you been eating it by itself the whole time? What is that? <laughs> Have you been doing spice by itself the whole time? That's this is why British people didn't bring spice no, back from India. Easy, they went. They went to India. All spice, okay. all seasoning. Okay, butter, right? <laughs> you take a bite of butter, it is not yeah, very yeah, good. Yeah, super bad. I've done nah, that before. butter alone is I. Not. Nah, were you one of those what? kids who would just suck on the stick? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, that shit is. <laughs> I suck on those Yo, that is weird. Yeah, yeah, dog. Butter, you can eat. Now, butter by it's itself, unsalted. Nah. Nah. So then, by it's not by itself. One time, someone ate butter in my house, and my mom measured all of our teeth to see who did it. That's a true story. <laughs> All of your teeth? <laughs> she, she, yeah, she took the bite mark out of the bucket. <laughs> she was like, come over here. I got to see if it was your teeth that took the bite. Or if it was Emily who took the bite. That's a true story, bro. <laughs> and you got like seven brothers yeah. and sisters. So we, it's mad measurements. We did the lineup. We did a whole lineup. Who was it? bro? It who, wasn't me, bro. You would tell my teeth would take that whole shit out. Hold on. Yeah. So wait, who was it? I think it was Emily. Oh, oh my god, my that is hysterical. What? If the teeth first, made bro? you bite another thing, if, <laughs> how does she measure another the stick of butter? No, no, no. She just kind of held it up. Was like, "Yep, it fits." Like when you measure keys, but you kind of just like hold them up to each other, you know? <laughs> I, I mean, that is crazy. No. Seems like a very inexact science too. Yeah, what happened to her? Is. What happened to her for that? She got. Um, they killed her. <laughs> That's true. Gunshot to the head, like you said. Okay. <laughs> Son, discipline is important, bro. Yes, discipline oh is god. very important. Mm -hmm. That's okay. A fact. Last food thing. Okay. This is it. Are then you I'm hanging out with blister done. peppers, bro. You feel like son, I feel like you know, I know a lot about, about food. food, man. I'm out here in the world. <laughs> is this okay. Salt, son. This is why they didn't bring spices from India. I'm telling you. <laughs> British people went to India and they were like, "Yeah, this tikka is not really that good. We don't like it." And they're like, "Well, how are you eating?" And they're like, "Spoonful." Yeah, like, that's what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Mix it with salt, water. Yeah. Drink it down. Salt by itself. It. No, yo, you think salt is crazy? Pepper with shit. <laughs> bro, that's that's a fact. shit is is a berserk, fact. bro. Like, also, like sometimes my girl will do this fancy shit where she'll like take salt and pepper. Wow, wow, wow. Yo, wow. yo, you ever fuck wow. with a bay leaf? Fam. Yo, a bay leaf? Don't come on, get bro. Come me on, a bay leaf is crazy. With a bay leaf, bro, and uh, just leave it in the sauce. And there's a crazy thing: you don't even eat it. It's Sometimes in there. Sometimes you do, and that shit tastes horrible. <laughs> <laughs> No, I have. you're not supposed to eat it. I you're not supposed to eat it. You've been eating it the whole time. Bro, you ate a real one. So a real one like? eats it. Bro. I have. Yeah. I do think Indian shit is like you don't not eat it. What you, you mean? Yeah. You eat a bay leaf? Do you ever eat the bay leaf, Shub? We don't know what to eat and not eat. It's in the pot. It's edible. Everything. Thank wow. you. <laughs> That's and we've been crazy. cooking with bay leaves, heller. Come on, yeah. You don't waste no food, bay, bro. I, on, ate a, bro. I ate like a fucking what's that shit called? Nutmeg. Yeah, yeah. I Wait. think I ate that You're once. Slipping on? Yeah. What are you? Uh, no, <laughs> the Rikers. Bro. Yeah, he ate the Rikers. It was on the floor, all over yeah. the floor. Nutmeg. Yeah. Nah, nah. What about vanilla? I ate you fuck with vanilla or what? Yo, here's vanilla is crazy expensive. No one talks about that. Yo, but also nobody talks about vanilla. Distinctly different flavor from vanilla. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, oh, okay. this is like a Mandela effect thing. Is it? Yeah. I don't know how that applies, yeah. but. Mm -hmm. Continue one of you. Vanilla has changed flavors over time. Vanilla has shifted. I don't think it's Mandela effect, though. It is. It is. Because <laughs> as a kid, you think, oh, it's Baron Stain Bears, and now it's actually Baron Steam Bears. You know what I mean? What the fuck is going on here? You know Mandela about, effect. You don't know what Mandela effect is? No. Nah. It's proof that we're living in a different dimension. He's doing too much. There's a multiverse thing? I don't know if you heard this. We all, for a while, thought Nelson Mandela was dead. It wasn't a uh, thing. Somehow we all just believed it, and he mm -hmm. wasn't dead. And then another example is, do you remember that book we read as kids, The Berenstain Bears, we yeah. all called it? It's actually The Berenstain Bears. None of us know that. We all just called it Berenstain. And there's a bunch of things like yeah. that. And vanilla used to taste different when you were a kid, and now you taste it, and you're like, that's not vanilla. In all seriousness, are we wrapping this up? Yeah, yes. I'm drinking Beyonce's pee. You would? Yeah. I think it would give me healing powers. This is an honest question. Do you think if you, you know those like purifying straws that they give to people in different countries where they need clean Light drinking straws, water? Yeah. Light straws. One. You think you have one? Yeah, in my uh, prep God kit. damn it, Dove. So in L.A., we had From earthquake what? kits. Fuck, Earthquakes. Man. Scariest thing that exists on the planet. Earthquakes. Oh, give that to somebody who actually needs yeah, it. Yeah, man. 
Do you think you could drink pure urine out of a life straw and it's just water? Yeah. That's a great question, actually. Wait a minute. It's just water or could you just drink urine out of a straw? <laughs> Wait, I, I missed the question. Wait, what were, you, what were you asking? Were you asking if, if how, how do you have fun on like a weekend or something like that? Or, yeah, you get the sport cap, throw some I pee in say. there. You're having a party. No, I'm saying you get a life straw that can now it purifies all the water. This could solve the water crisis. You real could, talk. You literally drink out of like a. So they'll give it to what someone. About salt water. Why it got to be urine? Why don't we just do it with salt water? Because duh, you could do it with salt we, water. That's we're trying to have fun. I thought. I thought that was my question is, could fun. you do it if you? Oh, this is what the company true. CEO should do as yeah. proof. He goes, I believe in my product so much. I'm gonna have my friend pee in this cup, Beyonce maybe, and I'm gonna drink it with the life straw. That's a win-win. And it's gonna be water. And if it's not water, it's even better. Yeah. He could do that as like an actual promotion. And I want to do it on this show. Oh, that's fucking good. We're going to get a life straw. Now? We're all going to pee in it. Answer. I'm going to drink it. The answer is no, because that life straw removes like, it's an antimicrobial. Not, it doesn't remove the salts from pee and all the other oh, shit. Oh, it just removes the microbes? The microbes, all the stuff that's putting yeah, the But the salt in pee is, isn't bad. Salt is, is amazing. <laughs> we, already, <laughs> we already discussed that's this. That's the we, best part We're pee, all like, salt fans. Like, yeah, no one here doesn't yeah, like salt. On, yo. It can't change the oh, pH man. of the water, so it's going to taste like pee. So what do they do if they give them to someone in a country where they need water? Like, what are they? what is it good for? If it's just slightly worse water? Yo, how y'all yeah. not got water, bro? Like, that shit is <laughs> right? Think about how much water I have, bro. I turn my faucet on. It's just unlimited water. Unlim but not even that. Just dig down. It's, it's underneath, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go to the ocean. Figure it out. <laughs> not even that. Like, if you go down, eventually you get water, right? Sometimes. When do you not? You're on a mountain? In the desert? You're on maybe? a mountain? I think in the desert they got that shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, how do you think cactuses are living now? That's not from that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's from the moisture in the air at night. But that's how, yeah. like, if you take salt water and you heat it, and then the condensation that goes on, like, I Doesn't don't know. Then it sucks when you try to say leaf. ignorant shit, and then he knows the real reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I should be cutting the legs out from under you. But why can't I drink Sometimes pee? you need to get the legs cut, bro. Why can't I drink pee out of a straw? Look, you can. You're going to be judged by society for it. But not, I don't not, think that that should stop I'm not going to put it on my iCloud or something crazy. You know what I mean? That I'm going to keep it in the tub. All right, guys, listen. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for going to get the special. Thank you for everybody who already got it. Thank you for the people that are going to get it. I appreciate y'all so much. Um, we do. We appreciate y'all so much. And thank you for listening to the pod. We will see you very soon. Peace.